Good evening to you from Saddleback College in Mission Viejo, California for tonight's Southern California Football Association National League Southern League game between the visiting Fullerton Hornets, number four ranked in California Community College Athletic Association, taking on the 20th ranked Saddleback Bobcats, a key game for both teams. Bowl possibilities, Southern California regional playoff possibilities, lots of things in play tonight. I am Mark Spinn along with Mike Zapata. We're glad to be with you here at Saddleback Stadium on Military Appreciation Night. Here at Saddleback College, long rivalry between two of the Blue Blood Community College programs from Orange County. Between the two of them since 1965, these schools have combined to win eight junior college national championships five by Fullerton three by Saddleback the most recent back-to-back -back national titles by Fullerton in 2016 and 2017 the Hornets come in off a forfeit last week got an unexpected buy when Grossmont could not play the game scheduled for last Saturday so they go to eight and oh by way of that forfeit win last Saturday a little bit of rest for the Hornets so they'll come in at uh, what we believe to be full strength. Saddleback uh, took a 39 to nothing drubbing at Riverside last Saturday and had troubles moving the ball throughout the game. Quarterback issues, Brandon Burwald re-aggravated an injury suffered against Palomar three weeks ago, is expected to play and possibly start tonight. Uh, Trey Kukuk, Joey Gentilella, backup quarterbacks for Saddleback, also expected to see action for Fullerton, the action revolves around quarterback Brandon Nunez out of Mesa, Arizona, a six foot five, two hundred and twenty five pounder sophomore who is a dual threat, running, throwing. He's going to be difficult for the Bobcats to stop. Uh, Fullerton has a very balanced offense, running and passing. They do both equally well. The Saddleback defense is one of the best in the Southern California Football Association, so they will need everything they've got to stop the Fullerton attack. Fullerton comes in with 30 sacks in seven games played. So they are a ferocious pass rush. They get to the quarterback often led by, I promise you I'm going to tell you, yes, uh, defensive tackle Carlos Torres out of Chino Hills. He's got seven sacks. C.J. Nesmith has four. Saddleback, also an excellent pass rush with 26 sacks on the season. The difference is Saddleback has allowed 21 sacks, while Fullerton has only allowed 11. So the Hornets have done a better job of protecting Brandon Nunez, which is possibly due to his mobility. If Burwald is healthy, he also has good mobility. I think the biggest thing you have for Saddleback, they've had an ability to shut you down in the secondary at times. We've seen some terrific plays made uh, by Michael Diamato and a couple other players in this defense on the back end. Difficulty is scoring the scoring uh, you know getting some points on the board and yep. that's been the biggest problem lack of continuity at the quarterback position. Uh, I don't know if they've assumed an identity. We're week nine. You know, we're, we're one week away from the finale of the regular season in 23 and uh, who's it going to be? Is it going to be Kukuk? Is it going to be Burwald? You know, we saw Fullerton earlier this season on SoCal College Sports up at College of the Canyons. Uh, that was a game that was very winnable for Canyons, and Fullerton able to pull out the victory. And, you know, Canyons may be, may be a little down from years past, but uh, certainly in the mix in the North, National Northern Division. But Fullerton comes in, as you said, a bit of a bye last week. You get the forfeit. Now you come in, you come healthy. This is a possible trap game for Fullerton with Riverside. Way massive, next week. Massive it's, game well, you have the two, week. two biggest games in the SEFA next week. You have Golden West and Mount Sac, and then you have Fullerton and Riverside. Those two games will decide who the wild card is going to be. That's right. Only loss this season. Four Golden West came to Riverside. So... It just it just kind of depends. What's going to happen next week? Will Fullerton be caught looking ahead? That will be the key. The other key, who can stop the other team's rushing attack? Man. Saddleback is uh, 14th in the state with 178 yards rushing per game. Fullerton's rush defense second in the 3C2A, allowing just 49 yards a game. If the Bobcats are going to have success, they're going to have to put the ball on the ground no and doubt. move it well. Fullerton's rushing attack 
is 20th in the state, 160 yards a game, while Saddleback's rushing defense is 25th in the state, allowing only 108. Who can establish the run and maintain it? That will go a long way to establishing our winner here tonight at Saddleback College on Military Appreciation Night. We're just about ready. Teams are, Captains are heading out for the coin toss. And we will have our national anthem coming up in a moment. Thank you for joining us here for SCFA football on SoCal College Sports. Mark Spin, Mike Zapata. We look forward to bringing you the game. We'll be back for the kickoff after the national anthem and the coin toss. Let's get on this side, wide on the other side.
Once again, thank you to the U.S. Marine Corps. Color Guard. Welcome back to Saddleback Stadium. Just a minute away from the kickoff here. Fullerton, the Hornets, coming down to Mission Viejo to take on the Saddleback Bobcats. Fullerton comes in undefeated, 8-0, including last week's uh, forfeit win from Grossmont. Saddleback 5-3. Fullerton is 5-0 in the Southern League in the National Division of the Southern California Football Association. Saddleback is 4-1, suffering that defeat last week at Riverside, which snapped the five-game winning streak for the Bobcats. Saddleback won the toss and has deferred and will kick it away to the Hornets, the number four ranked team in the California Community College Athletic Association State Poll. Saddleback is ranked 19th and 20th, depending on which poll you're looking at. The Hornets are also number six nationally in the JC Gridiron Poll. Tough task for the Bobcats tonight on Military Appreciation Night here at Saddleback Stadium. I am Mark Spin. Momentarily, Mike Zapato will join me. Saddleback in their alternate home uniforms, black with the gold numbers. Kicking away to the Hornets who are in their visiting white with black trim. Kyan Afrukte, solid kicker for the Bobcats getting ready to kick it away. Kick around to the five yard line taken over there by Jeremy Gonzalez. He breaks up the left hand side. He's got a little bit of room and takes it out to about the 36 yard line where the Hornets will have it first and 10. They'll spot it right at the 35. First down for Fullerton. We are underway here at Saddleback Stadium here on SoCal College Sports. One of two big games on SoCal College Sports tonight, El Camino and Ventura. Also just getting underway. And here come the Hornets with their dual threat quarterback, Brandon Nunez, 6'5", 225 pounds. He is a tough customer to bring down because he's equally effective running as he is passing, Mike. Out of the gun. Empty backfield. Nunez, straight drop. Room over the middle, passes incomplete. Tried to throw a deep slant to Jeremy Gonzalez. He's their possession receiver. That's actually C.J. Broy, excuse me, number two, not number 12. We are high above the western sideline here at Saddleback Stadium. My annual tribute 
to Chick Hearn from his days at the Lakers. Beautiful facility, three years old at Saddleback. Second and 10 now for Fullerton. Garnett Davis the third. Gets about three, which will bring up third and seven for the Hornets. Looking to stay undefeated. Heading into a huge game potentially next week with Riverside. Riverside playing at San Diego Mesa as this game, same time, just got underway down at San Diego Mesa. If form holds, Riverside will await next Saturday at noon in Riverside. Third and seven for the Hornets. Nunez takes a pressure. Nice catch there by Broy. C.J. Broy brought it in with one hand. Nunez was under pressure. Got it away and got a big gain. 16 yards all the way to the Saddleback 46. Hornets go quickly. Nunez, great catch by C.J. Broy. Garnett Davis the third, about a yard. As we mentioned at the top of the show, Saddleback's rush defense, one of the tops in the in the state in the top 25. The Hornets like to rush the ball, so it's going to be a, a battle in the trenches between these two teams on establishing the run game. Hornets got it done in the air on that third down conversion. Michael Vacapuna, their leading rusher, checks into the game, number 42. Little pitch pass, a little shovel pass on the inside. That's going to be good for about eight yards. We'll bring up third and about a yard. Nice little shuttle pass there. That was Cameron Woods, the tight end, number 88, with the reception gain of about eight. Nope, they're going to give him an excellent spot and call that a first down. I thought that was short. But it is called a first down at the 36 now of Saddleback. Hornets again go quickly. Nunez, quick drop. Throws to the outside. Nice coverage there by Saddleback. Michael Diamato, number 31. Leading tackler. Leads the team. Among the Leads the team in tackles and has two interceptions on the year, including an incredible one-handed diving interception back against Antelope Valley back earlier in the season. Memorable play. Second and 10 now for Fullerton and Brandon Nunez. Sophomore out of Mesa, Arizona, Mountain View High School. From the Saddleback 36, Vacapuna on the handoff. Nicely cut down right there by Saddleback once again. Solid play against the the rush, Jordan Springer, the linebacker, number 48, on the tackle. I believe he had help from Deshaun Baker, number 30, as well. And that's going to bring up a third and long for the Hornets. Vakapuna in the backfield, number 42, out of Kahuku, Hawaii. Handoff straight up the middle. Nice burst up the middle by Vaca Puna. He takes it all the way down to about the Saddleback 13-yard line. Gain of about 22. It'll be first and 10 deep in Saddleback territory on the quick hitter up the middle by Vaca Puna. 5'8", 215 pounds, averaging 5.7 yards a carry. And he took that one 22 yards and a quick burst to set up the Hornets at the 13-yard line, 11-25 here in the first quarter. No score. Fullerton trying to establish an early advantage on their first drive of the game. Throw on the fade into the end zone, wide open in the back corner. That's going to be touchdown. Fullerton, that was too easy. Something got behind. A, yeah, they just didn't have the coverage there. Got behind the corner. And Christian Stewart... Sophomore out of Braille into high school. Third touchdown reception of the year for Stewart. 
And the Hornets take a 6-0 lead pending the extra point from Jonathan Faubert, returning sophomore kicker out of Foothill High School. 33 out of 36 on the year, make it 34 out of 37. Fullerton takes a 7-0 victory, going 65 yards on their first possession. Got a couple of big third down conversions. And the Hornets lead 7-0, and that couldn't have been what Coach Kerry Crabb wanted to see on that opening possession. Nunez doing damage with the arm. And Vacapuna, that 22-yard gain on third and long, set up the quick throw and catch into the deep corner of the end zone to Christian Stewart. Touchdown, Fullerton. Score. And it's 7-0 Fullerton with 11.09 to go here in the first quarter. Thank you for joining us here on SoCal College Sports. Wes Craven, number 83. Paulo Burak, number three, back for Saddleback. Charles Virel to kick off for the Hornets. It's taken by Burak at about the eight-yard line. He comes up the right-hand side. He's got a little bit of room to the sideline. He makes the move that way, corralled there at about the 25. We'll see where they spot it. And the Bobcats will have first and 10, trailing 7 nothing. And we will see who comes out starting at quarterback for Saddleback. As we mentioned, Brandon Burwald. It looks like he's there in the huddle, so it probably will be Burwald coming out to start for Saddleback. Been nursing what appears to be a lower leg injury. Suffered back in the Palomar game, or aggravated in the Palomar game three weeks ago, and then re-injured it in the Riverside game. Had to come out by practice this week and is back in. And he's out of the gun. Handoff on the end around. Burak lined up on the outside and came around on a sweep. Flag in on the play. Bobcats guilty of the hold. That'll back it up 10 yards. It'll set up first and 20, depending on where the spot. So Saddleback will do it again. First and 20 now at their own 15-yard line. Backed up. Burwald out of the gun. Hands it off to Burak. No, play action fake. Nice pass over the middle. Good gain of about 13 yards. Josh Collins on the reception. Gain of about 13. It'll bring up second and seven now for Saddleback at their own 28-yard line. Burwald again out of the gun. Two-step drop. Throws quickly. Wow. Nice catch right there over the shoulder. Josh Collins again. Dangerous pass out there in the flat. Looked like it could have been pick six time, but it was and had enough zip on it to get to Collins. Yeah, he fired it out there, and Collins made a heck of a play hauling that in, and that'll move the chains. First down for the Bobcats. They trail 7-0 here in the first quarter, just under 10 minutes to go. First down at the 36 of Saddleback. Burwald keeps it. Keeps it around the left side. You see a little hitch in the giddy-up, Mike. You know, you just don't see the explosive running. Burwald is an excellent runner. He's averaging 7.5 yards a carry. A lot of design runs for him in Coach Jeff Fisher's offense. And he just saw a little bit of a slight hesitation on that, but he still managed – a good gain. Yeah, able to get the edge and pick up another first down. That's right. Ten yards. I guess a little hitch in the giddy-up doesn't matter too much when you got that kind of explosiveness. First down for the Bobcats at their own 46. Going quickly. Burwald. Now he'll look over and get a new play from Jeff Fisher. Paulo Burak, number three, in the backfield with him. Number 
This time it'll be Barak up the middle. Nice little shift to his right, and he's going to pick up a good solid eight yards, fighting off tacklers, carrying a couple with him. Nice run by Paulo Burak. Lost his helmet. He'll have to come out for a play. But the freshman out of Carlsbad High School did a nice job continuing to battle. Looks like he got kind of face masked right there at the end, Mike, but I did not see a flag come in. They gave him seven officially. He has a solid run. In fact, he cut back when he didn't need it. He could have just went straight up the field and turned it up for a big gainer, ran into his own man. Bobcats blocking downfield. Second and three, Kenny Manicero, leading rusher on the team, comes in for Burak. Nice little pitch and catch to Marcus Carrillo Edgar, the top receiver for Saddleback. Does a terrific job at Burwald getting rid of the football in a hurry. Sees the blitz. They pick it up momentarily, able to get it out. Pick up another first down. Bobcats marching down the field on their first offensive possession. And those 30 sacks from Fullerton. Burwald aware that the pass rush is legit for the Hornets. Manicero on the sleep, yeah. sweep around the right-hand side. Another flag comes in. That'll yeah. probably be another hold on the Indeed, on yeah. Saddleback. Early indication it's going to be a hold. You saw some jersey fly get held back there from the Fullerton Hornets. So this one coming back another 10. And while they're backing it up, we will tell you that our referee tonight is Shane Smith. The umpire is Charlie Chastain. The head linesman is Dan Kaminsky. Line judge Kent Bukarau. Field judge Nick Frescas. The side judge Joe Rogers. And our back judge Dwayne Bergman. So Shane Smith announces the hold. Bobcats are back into first and 20 right at midfield. Here's Burwald out of the gun. Three-step drop. Throws a little flare out to Josh Collins. He's been busy here in the first quarter. Third reception for Josh on this drive. A gain of about a yard. Not much there. Modest gain and not much yak there. That's a terrific open field tackle. you just one-on-one -on -one and you have to make a play. And Fuller's been able to do exactly that. Limit it to a two-yard gain. Second and 18 now for the Bobcats. Branson, Tita Noir, the sophomore. Defensive back, number 20 on the tackle for Fullerton. Second and about 19 now. They're going to throw it. Jacob, no, 22. Uh, Chase Christner in the game. Tried to throw the little halfback option. Something they've done with Jacob Sears on a wingback look before. Yep. Christner right there. His pass comes up into no man's land, incomplete, and it'll be third and extra long for Saddleback. Terrific discipline that time from the Hornets. Nobody was fooled, able to get pressure on the thrower of the football Really blew up that play, now third in a mile. Yeah. And it's going to get late pretty early here. I wonder if they get to – if they're able to pick up 10 yards, they maybe go for it. They need the 30-yard line. It could be four-down territory if they can get eight or 10 yards out of this play on third and 19. Burwald, a little hitch fake. Now he throws a little screen, and that's almost picked yeah. off. No fooling Fullerton on that particular play. They had uh, C.J. Nesmith. I think if you're going to go to the screen early in the down, you have to see if you can diagnose an early down or an early in the possession type of uh, blitz coming from Fullerton. If you're able to diagnose that maybe on first and second down, I think that play is going to work. But on third and a mile, you know, Fullerton able to generate a lot of pressure up front. You see them kind of initially faint at the pressure and then pull back. And they had that diagnosed to a T. Braden Biller on to punt for the Bobcats. He gets it out of there, bounces harmlessly at the 20. The Saddleback will cover it at about the 22, and the Hornets will take over. There's, you know. a, there's another flag on the field here, Mark, and I wonder if this is going to be another hold, or did, could this possibly be illegal hands to the face? Well, we'll see what Shane Smith tells us, conferring now with his umpire. Now they'll have a little conference right there. You know, on that screen pass, Mike, that was uh, all six foot five. C.J. Nesmith, <laughs> the sophomore out of Baldwin, Florida. Bobcats. Uh, we're going to have offsetting penalties, yep. so we get to do that again. So C.J. Nesmith, who has four sacks of, of the 30 for Fullerton, read that screen beautifully yep. and came off of the defensive end position to get in there and almost you know, get his height up there to pull that one down for a, a pick and a field flip. But instead, we're going to have offsetting penalties on fourth down and kick this again. So Braden Biller warmed up now, and he'll be ready to go. Second 
Seven minutes to go here in the first quarter. 7 nothing Fullerton. They're about to get the ball back. Biller's got time. Gets off a pretty good kick. Good hang time. Bounces there. Kind of dangerous look. That's a terrific job on special teams. You saw Fullerton kind of bluff at the football, and they could have easily taken that. Not a lot of players in front. And alertly, special teams picks up the football. And that's not a bad punt. That's going to back up the Hornets to the 12-yard line. That's yeah. where they're going to take over. That, that's 38 yards on the kick and no return. Kadari Kearns, a dangerous kickoff return man, taking the punt return right there. Had designs on maybe picking that up on the bounce, but thought better of it. And the Bobcats covered it there at the 12, where Fullerton and Brandon Nunez will take over. Already leading 7 nothing. Just past the halfway mark here in the first quarter. Well, it's early in the defense. You know that wasn't a super long possession, but you got a couple penalties in there. Defense was able to rest up and they have to put forth a better effort because that first possession for the Hornets, they were just able to march down the field. This is a pretty good chunk play on first down. Yeah, Nunez, of nine. good quick pass to Jordan Tate, one of those six foot five receivers. Fullerton with multiple receivers, including their top receiver Leland Smith, number fifteen. Six foot five, Jordan Tate. Six foot five. Uh, they've got uh, Austin Le Levias. Six foot four, Fox. Fox Hagen. Six three. There's the handoff straight up the middle. Vaca Puna is going to bust this one for big yardage. He takes it all the way down to the, about the Saddleback 37 yard line. 36, maybe they're going to spot it. Huge gain right there. 43 yards for Michael Vaca Puna. Out of Kahuku, Hawaii. Long pass down the sideline trying to take advantage. Good coverage there. Brandon Nunez wanted some kind of a flag, but I think that was just excellent coverage. Kale Wallace, number one for Saddleback, doing a nice job on one of those six foot five receivers, that being Leland Smith, who leads the state with a 27.4 yard per catch average. Yep. Also their leading receiver with 22 receptions, blanketed it by Kale Wallace. Six foot K.O. Wallace did the job on six foot five Leland Smith, but that's going to be a matchup problem all night. They throw the opposite, oh. trying to go the other way. Saddleback had that well read. Yep. Nice job by the Bobcats to stay home. Neither team being fooled. That's a dangerous play right there if you're Fullerton. Nunez gets away with one. Yeah. We go back to the contested, hotly contested pass earlier in the possession and. Yeah, I think if you're Fullerton, you maybe have a case there for defensive pass interference. The the defender really never gets his head around. Kale Wallace was running with him step for step, step for step, but you are right. He did not get the head around. So maybe a break for the Bobcats there, and it brings up a third and ten now. A third and long situation. For the Hornets at the Saddleback 36-yard line. Nunez, quick stop again, throws, quick pass to Leland Smith, and the usually reliable Leland Smith – has that one go through his hands. He might have been a half yard short of the first down, but he dropped it. Got to be really impressed there with Nunez. He throws the receiver open. The receiver had not turned his head around. Wasn't even out of his break. Throws it, puts it right on the numbers, and Smith unable to hold that ball in. That would have been first down. And we haven't seen Nunez take off and run, and he will do that, and they will design runs for him in the RPO as well. Well, they're going to go for it here. On yeah, they are going to go. It's four down territory at the Saddleback 36, fourth and 10. Nunez rolls right. Now he stops and throws deep to the left-hand corner. Nobody home on the pattern. Leland Smith, maybe a little miscommunication about which way the, the pattern was going to go and the ball was going to go, but either way, it's... First down, Saddleback. As for as good as Smith has been this year for the Hornets, that was a poor possession for him. You get the really bad drop on third and ten, which would have been a first down, and then the miscommunication between receiver and the QB. Yeah. And Smith had some room. That that could have been six. Oh, that was it was it was touchdown if, if they're on the same page yep. there because he ran a pattern where he eluded Saddleback secondary, but no such luck in terms of Fullerton taking it in. Wasting a big run by Michael Vacapuna yep. to get them into scoring possession. Saddleback says that works for us. First down Bobcats at their own 36, trailing 7 nothing. Hand up, no, faked by Burwald. Rolling left, now stops, throws back across Just the middle, and that's a dangerous thing to do, and that's why you don't do it. Picked off right there by Fullerton. That is the Cardinal sin. Branson, Tita at Noir, yes, throwing it across your body over the middle and a little bit late. Yeah. 
So picked off, interception, turnover. Hornets right back in business. The interception by Branson takes it down to the saddleback. Where are they going to spot this one, Mike? It looks it's like it's going to be at the 14-yard line. Yes, red zone possession. Branson, Tita Noir out of uh, Mississippi, DeSoto Central High School. In South Haven, Mississippi, one of 45 players on the Fullerton roster from out of California. And you got to get stingy here in the red zone. Do we have a new QB? We do. And Fullerton has rotated in. 14. Garrett Larson, six foot four sophomore. Another long, lanky, nice little pitch reverse to the outside. Oh, hurdling, wow. beautiful hurdling run right there. Leland Smith came around and said, I may have dropped that last pass around a bad pattern, but check me out on the end around. round. Yeah, going out for the hurdles, I hear. Yeah, Jack. and he showed great speed getting to the edge and took it down, got around Jaden Williams, number 49, the defensive lineman. First and goal for the Hornets. Handoff straight up the middle is stuffed there by the Bobcats. Nice job. That was uh, Travis Arena, the linebacker, number 24, who got him around the ankles, had help some, from some friends. So Garrett Larson gets out of uh, another out-of-stater from Kaysville, Utah. He's played in about six games, completed eight out of 13 passes, 98 yards and a touchdown. So Coach Garrett Campbell for Fullerton elects to give Nunez a break in the first quarter and go with Larson here on this drive. A little bit of movement there. I think the Hornets are going to get backed up five yards. Yep. And we've had a few flags here in the first quarter, a little bit of a sloppy start on either side. But that was a nice play call by Garrett Campbell, who also serves as the offensive coordinator for the Hornets. And yeah, look at that hurdling move right there by Leland Smith. He's, you know, six foot five, 205 pounds. He's out of Houston. Straight Jesuit, and he's showing why he averages 27.4 yards a catch because not only is he elusive, he's just got some moves. All right. Backs it up to the 7.5-yard line. Drop snap. Larson picks it up. Now throws to the corner trying to get to Smith incomplete. Pretty good coverage over there by the Bobcats, forcing him well to the sideline where it wouldn't have been much of a gain. And that'll bring up third and goal. For, we'll call it the eight. Third and goal for Fullerton trying to increase a 7-0 lead here with 4.04 to go in the first quarter. Saddleback in their alternate home uniforms with the black jerseys here on Military Appreciation Night at Saddleback Stadium. Larson remains in the game. Vakapuna to his right. Stuffed right there. Vakapuna gets nothing. Because Saddleback was all over now, that. Now, there's a late flag here, and I wonder if there's going to be a face mask or possibly a hold. Yeah, the, uh, the early indication is that there's going to be a face mask. We'll have a pretty good look of it here. Bryce Kreider. I think somebody yeah. tried to maybe snatch the football. Ah, oh, you see it right there. Ugh. That is an absolute brutal penalty. That's a crusher. Because you have it. You have them. It's over. Yep, it would have been fourth and goal and field goal time for the Hornets from outside of, of the 10-yard line, and now they got first and goal inside the five. Yeah. Bryce Kreider just broke through the right side of the Fullerton line and wrapped up Vacapuna for a five, six-yard loss. That's a soul crusher. And then somewhere along the line, somebody got a little bit of a face mask, and it's first down Fullerton after the personal foul. We'll call it the four, first and goal. Larson rolling left, still rolling, chased there, Fumbles it out of bounds. Uh, I but think I, he fumbled it yeah, out of the. We'll see what they did. They say he went out before the ball crossed over the uh, pylon. Travis Arena it. was on the chase. Number 24, the standout linebacker for Saddleback. Look at Travis running him down. Larson, nowhere really to go. Travis does a nice job of. Well, you know, that's one of those. Yeah, it, well, he fumbled it after he hit the pylon. Yeah. So they're going to mark him out at the one. Second and goal from right there at the one yard line. Larson. Hands it off to Garnett, and he stuffed backwards. Stuffed More flags and came flag. in. That was Garnett Davis the third, number this, seven. This happened in the backfield, and this is going to be, okay, legal shift. So we're going to do second down again. 
And it's going to be first, second and goal from the six. They'll back him up. Saddleback gets a break there. But, again, a little bit of sloppy here. Hurley in the, well, midway. Yeah, we're, we're nearing down, uh, ticking down here in the uh, in the first quarter. I was just checking the Double header here tonight on SoCal College Sports. El Camino at Ventura. Jeff Stoinoff on the call right now. Ventura up 7 to nothing. Already five penalties in the game. And we're still three minutes to go in the first quarter. Larson to Vacapuna, straight up the middle. Corralled there nicely by big number 90, Lassier Luter. The UNLV transfer, six foot four, 335 pounds of Lassier Luter. Look at the penetration here from Luter. I mean, he gets through and says, give me 42, yeah. gobbles him up. Thanksgiving early. Yeah. <laughs> The young man from uh, Detroit, Lassier Luter out of Cass Tech, came to Saddleback after a year at UNLV, plugged the hole nicely there, and it's going to be third and goal at the seven for Fullerton, backing up after they had it at the one. See if Saddleback can get out with a field goal attempt. Larson, Vacapuna to his left. Hands it off again to Vacapuna. He stumbles a little bit, gets down to about the two. Wrapped up there by a couple of Bobcats. Yeah, I think you, I think you opt for the points here. Deshaun Baker, the linebacker, number thirty. That's a heck of a stand by the by the Bobcats. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they shoot themselves in the foot with the face max penalty, give up first and goal at the five, and they are able to hold the Hornets to potentially three. And why well, hey, they still have to make the field goal? Jack Schultz, number 98 in on the tackle. Military veteran playing for Saddleback here on Military Appreciation Very Night. Very apropos here How on Military apropos Appreciation How apropos is Night. that? Fobear with the field goal is up and good. So he puts three points on the board for Fullerton to give them a 10-0 lead with a minute 36 to go here in the first quarter. Fullerton, 10, Saddleback, nothing here on SoCal College Sports. Ready for the kickoff. Charles Viorel for Fullerton gets his foot into it. Burak will take it at about the 10-yard line. Paulo up the right-hand side. He's got a little room on the sideline. Nice tackle there by the Fullerton special teams to keep Paulo from getting ahead of Steen up the right-hand side. But still, the Bobcats will have decent field position right about their own 30-yard line, trailing 10 to nothing here in the first quarter. Mark Spin along with Mike Zepeda here on SoCal College Sports. And so far... Saddleback has kind of just shot themselves in the foot with the penalties and just given Fullerton opportunities when they had shut them down. Hey, Fullerton also a culprit in the shooting yourself in the foot game. You know, a couple opportunities down deep, and they backed themselves up five yards and really resulting in that last field goal. It should have been six on the board at least. Burwald hands it off straight up the middle. The interception by Burwald with the throwing late over the middle, rolling the, the other way, I just, set up that uh, three-point for Fullerton last drive. Just don't, don't understand the play call there. You see Fullerton get a lot of penetration, and you're just you're just giving up the runner into the teeth of the defense. you got to move the pocket. Ezekiel Pierce, number 19, in at running back. One of three that Saddleback uses throughout the game. Kenny Manasero, Paulo Burak, Ezekiel Pierce. Solid trio of running backs averaging about 155 yards a game between the three of them. Long pass down the left-hand sideline. Goes wow, up and catch. gets it. That's a fantastic catch by DeMario Strong, the freshman out of Downey Warren. Somehow got that uh, ball. He out-jumped the Fullerton defensive back, Quentin Ashford. Yeah, he high points the football like a pro 
Huge hookup. Yes, decent gain of about 21 yards, well, we first should, down at midfield. We should have a pretty good replay of that. Oh, wow. Ooh, ball came loose there. Now it's a catch and about a three, uh, two-yard loss for the Bobcats. Would have been better if it would have gone is, incomplete. We're going to go back to the throw here. And look at that beautiful catch. Demario Strong out wrestled Quentin Ashford, the sophomore defensive back out of Smith Station, Alabama, right there. Demario Downey Warren, freshman. And that's the end of the first quarter. It'll be second and 12 for Saddleback at the, their own 48 when we come back here on SoCal College Sports. The end of the first, Fullerton 10, Saddleback nothing. We'll be back with quarter number two. Start of the second quarter, second and 12 for the Bobcats at their own 48 after a loss of two on the preceding play. Ezekiel Pierce on a handoff straight up the middle, and it's tough sledding against that Fullerton Hornets rush defense, one of the strongest in the state, second overall, allowing only 49 yards a game, and we just saw why. And again, just giving up the running back into the jaws. Pierce got a yard, so it's getting at third and 11, just shy of midfield, Saddleback at their own 49 trailing 10 nothing here just started the second quarter here on SoCal College Sports Military Appreciation Night here at Saddleback Stadium. Brandon Burwald hands it off on a quick explosive move. Pierce gets about 8 9 10 yards. I think he, he's he, got it. Yeah, he just kept right on running and dragged a couple of uh, Hornet defenders with him and That's, I think they're going to give him the first down. It's a much better job that time opening it up. But you know, that's a that's a play where Fullerton's thinking pass, and they just run it right up the gut. Now maybe mix things up early in the downs. C.J. Nesmith, number 41, looked like he was finally the one to bring him down after the first down gain. Nice run there by Ezekiel Pierce, gain of about 11. First down Bobcats at the Fullerton 40. Burwald looking left. Now he's going to take off and run. Brandon trying to get some room, takes a slide down at about the 36. Should be a gain of about four, which will bring up second and six. And again, I just see that little bit of a a little bit of a limp and, and not the explosiveness that Brandon Burwald has shown yeah. running the ball because he is averaging seven and a half yards per very, carry. Very dynamic with his legs. Uh, the, and we've seen that at times throughout the season, but just doesn't really have it right now. And he's gritting it out, doing a heck of a job. Marcus Creo Edgar split wide to the right. Leading receiver for the Bobcats. Two receivers to the top of the screen. Pierce in the backfield with Burwald. Burwald will hand it off to Pierce, who moves right, but, yeah, he's got nowhere to go there. There's just nothing there. Yeah, Fullerton. That's Jeremiah McNeely, their leading tackler, number 23, the linebacker, came into the game with 54 tackles, including eight for loss, and he was just all over that. And there's a, no gain on the play, so it's going to bring up third to about six. Bobcats trying to keep this going, trailing 10 to nothing early in the second quarter. They'll get a new play in from Jeff Fisher, offensive coordinator on the sideline for Saddleback. Everybody's on the same page now, and now they're kind of not quite there yet. All right. Pierce shifts to the left. Burwald out of the gun. Four wide receivers. Quick drop, quick throw, nice Quick pitch and catch. They've done that well with DeMario Strong. Got a 20-yard gain earlier in the drive, and now he picks up a first down right there. Nice play. Quick. That's the quick hitters that Saddleback's going to have to do against this pass rush all night. Yeah, take what the defense is giving you, and right there you find the soft spot of the zone 
in where three defenders are, but Burwald puts it on the money, moves the chains. The Bobcats. First down the at the 26-yard line. Try everybody trying to get on the same page with the play coming in from the sideline. Pierce again swinging out to the right. Burwald throws quick over the middle to Marcus Carrillo. Edgar makes a nice catch and a nice gain for Saddleback. It'll bring up third and very short, maybe about third and about two, down at the 17, call it the 18-yard line. Bobcats got to get to the 16 for the first down. They go quickly on third and short. Burwald keeps it, gets the first down. Nice play fake by the sophomore out of White Bear Lake, Minnesota. Showed a good burst right there. Gets a first down, don't you know? First. <laughs> you betcha. Yeah, first down for the Bobcats at the 14-yard line, just inside the 14. Bobcats trying to get on the board, trailing. 10 to nothing, 11-15 to go here in the second quarter. A lot of time now. You've got to be really impressed with the way they're able to move the football against a defense that's been pretty stout this season. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, it's that, a, solid a free play right free here. Free play right here. Looping into the corner. Mar Marcus Carrillo Edgar tried to go up for it. Flags are down in the end zone as well, so the Bobcats might have a choice on uh, two for one right there. I Pass th interference. I think you're exactly right. And Offside, so I would say it's going to be first down either way. It just depends. Right. Hey, where's this? Where's this ball going to be? We're going to spot this. Let's see what Shane Smith tells us here. Two fouls, yes. Oh, they called Marcus Carrillo Edgar for offensive pass interference. OPI, so these are going to offset. It's going to be first down and ten again. We'll do it all over. I 13. certainly didn't see that from this angle, but. The officials right there, so there may have been a little. Well, it's a 50 50 ball. Yeah, it's interesting call there, but it remains first down just inside the 14 yard line for Saddleback. Burwald with Ezekiel Pierce to his left, Creo Edgar to the right. Burwald rolls left, stops, throws, looks, nobody home again. And I'm not sure where Brandon was throwing that, and I believe that is indeed going to be ruled picked off. Nice job by Tyon Milton. Out of Lawrenceville, Georgia, Wonderful. number 17. I'm not sure who was there. There were three white shirts. I didn't see a saddleback receiver. Well, I'll tell you what happened is that uh, Demario Strong turned one way and uh, Burwald threw it the other. Just a little lack of communication and nice job by Milton. His third interception on the season for the sophomore out of Gwinnett Central in Georgia. Yeah, nice little throw right there, but just nobody home, and, and nice coverage. I have to see if that was Dewan Grant, number 29, who may have actually come up with it. They were both diving for it. We'll see how they scored officially. If it was Dewan Grant, my apologies to Dewan. But either way, great coverage by Fullerton. Tick over at the one-yard line. Well, just another poor decision again by Burwald. That time not taking what the defense was giving him. It was Dewan Grant, number 29, out of New Kearney, Texas, with the interception there. Well, good news is defense gets a bit of a blow, and uh, they come in refreshed here, and the field completely flipped. They need to get a three and out quick. Nunez back in the game, under center for the first time on this series. Vacapuna straight up the middle, running hard. And he picks up a decent gain, give him some breathing room. Cannot afford to not have gap discipline here. And this is a play where I think Nunez might let him loose. Third and about three now from about the eight yard line. Just passed it. They've got to get just past the 11 for the first down. We have a timeout called on the field. Exposed and exposed. Referee's looking, <laughs> getting everything situated. Shane Smith exposed. signals that he's got officials time. Well, while they're figuring that out, Mike, we can talk about next week when Fullerton does have that huge matchup with Riverside. Is that at Fullerton? That is at Riverside. Riverside. Yeah, so Tough that's what we have to wonder if Fullerton kind of looking past that two undefeated teams, two of the top two teams in the SCFA. Saddleback hoping to spoil that party for Fullerton. Third and short, Nunez in. There you go, as Mike Zapata anticipated. 
Brandon Nunez, the six foot five, 225 pound sophomore, rumbling all the way down. Huge gain. Where's the flag? Clear hold on the outside by the wide receiver. And Nunez. 51 yards for Brandon Nunez. 51 yards all the way to the Saddleback 41 yard line. Hornets go quickly. Nunez throws. He's got receivers wide open on the deep slant over the middle. Touchdown, Fullerton. Score on the pitch and catch. 41 yards. The tight end, Cameron Woods, takes it in for his second touchdown of the season and his longest reception of the year. That one, 41 yards and six points. Well, they go to the hurry up. Quick crossing, quick post, up the seam, and in for six. Hornets. Cameron Woods, yes. Extending the lead, the tight end came off the left side, crossed over the formation. Beautiful throw by Nunez on the money. Flag comes in on Fulbert's extra point. We'll see if he has to kick it from five yards further back. Saddleback is coming off the field as if it's possibly an offside on them, and it is. They'll assess it on the kickoff. And that makes the score with 9-12 to go here in the first half. Fullerton 17, Saddleback nothing. Bobcats are going to need to get something going when they get the ball when we come right back here on SoCal College Sports. Back here, back here at Saddleback College. 9-12 to go in the first half. Fullerton has opened up a 17-0 lead over the host Saddleback Bobcats here at Saddleback Stadium. And get the five yards on the offside, kicking off. Burak will take it at his own eight-yard line, again on the right-hand side. They're kicking it that way. Apollo this time cuts back towards the middle, does not go up the right sideline as on the previous two kicks and gets a nice return all the way to the 32-yard line. So Saddleback will have a nice starting position on a drive where they need to get some points. Yeah, there's an offense that needs to get off the schneid. They have been shut out last five quarters in change. We talked about the lack of continuity at the quarterback position. Burwald, Kukuk, uh, we saw the third QB come in last week, but... Burwald still out there battling. It's got to be. It's got to make better decisions. Burwald in the gun with Ezekiel Pierce to his right. Quick drop, stops and throws, and uh, Marcus Carrillo Edgar was not expecting that to come his way because he was blocking downfield. Incomplete pass, second and ten. Signals crossed up. So it's a 41-yard touchdown pass to Cameron Woods, the tight end from uh, Brandon Nunez. Sorry. Oh. Second. Down and 10 now for Saddleback. Cameron Woods out of Las Vegas, Shadow Ridge High School. And Fullerton made that one look easy. The big run by Nunez may have gotten away with the hold, as Mike pointed out on the edge. He rambled 52 yards to set that up. And there's a nice little run by Ezekiel Pierce. Ball's he loses out. the ball down. We'll see if they ruled him down. I don't think they did. And that's going to be a fumble turnover and a recovery by the Hornets in Saddleback territory yeah, at the 41 yard line. Extra yards here and he gets popped. He got hit hard. Yeah, balls out. That's a great job on camera. Indeed, great shot right there. Dwan Grant and Branson Tita Noir on the hit. And then uh, number 17, Tyon Milton, who I gave the interception to mistakenly instead of Dwan Grant originally. Well, this time, Ty and Milton does have the turnover, falling on the ball after the big hit by his teammates. And it's first down, Fullerton at the Saddleback 41, looking to really kind of pull away here. 
midway through the second quarter, not quite even there, 8.53 to go. Big hits there by Grant and Branson Tidenois to force the ball loose on Ezekiel Pierce as he tried to get extra yardage, trying to make something happen. Now Brandon Nunez, three-step drop, deep slant over the middle, Jeremy Gonzalez, the ball comes out, it's ruled incomplete. And I'll have to look and see if that was Broy or, yeah, it was C.J. Broy, number two. Couldn't quite reel it in. Saddleback did a nice job of raking at it. Three Bobcats converged over there. After the play, nice job. Solid defensive play by Saddleback. Looks like a fumble to me. It looks like he might have had possession there for a moment. Saddleback rotating in a lot of defenders. And that was... Uh, Cochise Bradshaw, the sophomore out of Los Alamitos, number 15 with the break up there. Nice job by Cochise. So it'll be second down. There's a flag on the play while I was looking on that number on Cochise Bradshaw. Yeah, so we had a hold, so my bad, folks. So it's first and 20 now, and there's Nunez throwing across his body across the middle. Ball's out. Ball is out there again, and what incomplete. are they ruling? Man. Incomplete. Yeah, waved off. So it'll be second and 20 from midfield for Fullerton. Receiver was absolutely crushed. Yeah. Yeah, good hit by Saddleback's defense. Oh, yeah. Well, they yeah, that was Travis Arena, number 24, <laughs> and he, he'll he he'll hit you, as they say, Keith Jackson. Oh, yeah, big solid. Yeah, I think it came loose on him. That was C.J. Broy, number two. Yeah, I don't think the receiver had possession long enough to rule that a fumble, but, man, what a hit by Arena. All right, so it's going to be second and 20 now for Fullerton, just inside their own territory at the 49-yard line. They got to get down to the Saddleback 31 for a first down. 8.36 to go here in the second quarter. 17 0 Hornets. Brandon Nunez had a huge 52 yard run to set up his 41 yard touchdown pass to Cameron Woods a few moments ago. Bobcats turned it over quickly on the fumble by Pierce, and now Fullerton trying to. Kind of put some serious distance between a sputtering Saddleback offense. Really trying to break this one open, but third long situation. Yeah, not much happening on that last. And I wonder if you try and make this fourth and manageable. We've already seen Fullerton go for it on fourth and ten. I think if they get within the 40-yard line. Enrique Imposta and Ryan Bethke on the tackle of uh, Vacapuna on that four-yard gain on second down, and it brings up third and 17, maybe 16, and we have a timeout. Fullerton, Garrett Campbell, probably thinking exactly what you're thinking, Mike. Are we going to make this uh, four-down territory? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Update from Ventura. El Camino has tied it up 7-all there in the second. 8.04 remaining in the second quarter. 17-0. Hornets looking for more here when we come back on SoCal College Sports. All right, it's third and 16 for Fullerton from the Saddleback 47-yard line. They got to get to the 31. Nunez on a quick hitter to Vacapuna. He shifts and shuffles and gets all the way down to the 36. It'll bring up fourth and five. And, Mike, I think that was the play all along, try and make it uh, four down territory. Four, fourth and manageable, and they're exactly where they want to be. They have it at the 36-yard line. Nice 11-yard gain right. right there by Vacapuna. He's a tough runner. He's averaging 5.7 yards a carry. Fourth and five opens up the playbook immensely here. Look out for Leland Smith down to the left, but they'll just go right back to Vacapuna. But the Bobcats are there to stuff that, and they'll take it over on downs. Great job by Saddleback. Lasir Luter in on the tackle. Big number 90. 
Saddleback had gang tackling going on there. Great job by the Bobcats. And Luter with a big first half defensively for the Bobcats, one of the lone bright spots for Saddleback. And now the offense just needs to get going. I think we're going to see Trey Kuka here. Diamato, Michael Diamato assisted on that tackle with Luter. Saddleback not nope, fooled. Bur Burwald back out. We remain with Burwald. Not the usual rotation of quarterbacks yeah. as we've seen with Saddleback. So this might be the keys have been handed to Burwald as long as he can physically do it, nursing a little bit of an injury as we've mentioned. And he's got Kenny Manicero, the freshman out of Mission Viejo, by way of Haiti in the backfield with him. And we've got another timeout. Yeah, another timeout taken by Fullerton. Fullerton, Garrett Campbell and company not yeah. happy with what they saw. Yeah, I don't think they like the look. And they want to talk things over. Brian Cooks, the defensive coordinator, been in there for 25 years, defensive coordinator since 2010. He was there back in the 2016-2017 back-to-back national championships for the Hornets, who built that program behind the legendary Hal Sherbeck. You know, 31 years as coach. When he retired in 91, the all-time winningest coach in junior college football history with 241 wins, three national championships. And you know, Mike, they have finally, they have Sherbeck Field at Fullerton College now. Is that right? On campus, it opened this season for yep. play. Their first home field instead of Fullerton Union High School Stadium or uh -oh. Yorba Linda. Yep. All right, here we go. We are back. First and 10 for the Bobcats at their own 34-yard line. Burwald, quick out to Marcus Carrillo Edgar. Marcus, quick move to the inside, and he'll get a nice gain of about six, which will bring up second and four at about the 40. Yeah, this is going to be uh, extracurricular, and I think this is going to go against the Hornets. You see the helmet come off of Carrillo. Yeah, there was a little bit of a scrum as he was fighting for yardage, and we'll see what they get. Somebody reached in. It looked like it might have been Jeremiah McNeely reaching in right at the end and gotten a piece of the face mask. They just call a personal foul. Yeah, personal foul. And I don't know that it was Jeremiah specifically, but yeah. somebody got a hand in there and raked a little bit. We'll see who the officials called it on. Well, right now the Bobcats going to take anything they can get, so. Yeah, oh, absolutely. So they'll take a first down on the personal foul to the Fullerton 45-yard line into Hornet territory. Burwald out of the gun. Jeremy Naborn got the personal foul for Fullerton at the end of the last play to set this first and 10 at the 45. Clock is winding. Manicero on a quick handoff stuffed right there. Absolutely stuffed. And that's C.J. Nesmith. He's been around the ball most of Saddleback's possessions, much to the Bobcats' chagrin. And you see the movement on the line and the bluffing at blitz positions from the Hornets. It's really into the head of Burwald right now. Loss of one on the play. Second and 11. Manicero swings out left. Deep pass down the side. Wow. Carrillo gets it on the deflection. The ball was underthrown. Probably should have been picked off. A couple of Hornets were right there to have a chance to take that one in, but it said Marcus Carrillo Edgar makes the play and picks up the first down. Yeah, bouncing off of Hornet defenders. But a first down it is. Swung out to the left-hand side. Oh, what a play. Yeah, nowhere to go for Tristan Duncan. Tried to create some space, but was quickly stuffed by the Fullerton uh, defensive back. And I believe that was, uh, yeah, Kadari Kearns, number four, who came up to make the tackle. Out of Flossmoor, Illinois, Kadari Kearns. Second and 12 now, a loss of about two on the play. They'll hand it off. No, Burwald will keep it. Nice play fake. He gets some room to the outside. Good blocking on the edge, and he'll pick up about seven yards. Nice run by Brandon Burwald. Maybe not the explosive Brandon Burwald we've seen in earlier games, but... It's a first down getting is, Brandon Burwald. It is so a hard-running we'll first down for Brandon Burwald. He got 12, not 7. Yeah. So it's first and 10 now at the 18-yard line. You got a wide-open receiver in the slot. They're giving a ton of room. Yeah, they've got 10 yards off on either 
wide out. And that's Tristan Duncan at the top of your screen. Creole Edgar down to the right. They throw the quick inside shot right there. They've done that a few times to uh, Josh Collins. They did that in the first quarter. They do it again there. The freshman from Mission Viejo High School brings in his uh, fourth catch of the game. Well, I, th I think if he can start putting some, some pennies in the piggy bank with those quick routes, you know, hey, we'll take the five yards. Yes, and that's what you need to do. And there's a little offside play right there. Uh, uh, I think it's going to be early movement. Well, we have illegal snap, perhaps. No, they get the five yards on the okay. Hornets. Yep, they got him. He just reached in to try to anticipate the snap. No such luck. Yep. So five yards. It's going to be second and inches. Okay, are they going to – okay, this is going to be first and goal. First and goal at right about the eight. Terrence Hansbro Jr. there, number 91, on the early swipe at the ball to give the Bobcats the first and goal. Absolutely. We'll call it the seven. It's right between the seven and the eight. I'm going to go ahead and call it the seven. You need points on this drive. You just – you cannot settle for anything less than a touchdown. They like to run the little quick corner fade to the outside shoulder, the back shoulder to Duncan, and they try the inside route to him, thinking oh. that maybe Fullerton had Late that hit. expected. On Burwald. Burwald gets roughed, and it'll okay. be a first and goal. Sorry, I just, yes. I need a fire. I Tristan need a fire Duncan. Hose. Might have been able to come up with that for the touchdown because they ran him on the in route. Yeah, see, with the very yeah. end there, he get kind of pummeled. Nice job by Ty and Milton to knock the ball away, prevent the touchdown, but the roughing the passer call will put the Bobcats at the four yard line, first and goal on the half the distance. Yeah. And Manicero in the pistol behind Burwald. They send Seth Lyon in motion. Manicero breaks left. Manicero He's corralled there the by Kadari Kearns and Jeremiah Kadari McNeely. Keeping him out of the end zone. It'll be second and goal for Saddleback. God, I would love to see Burwald. And obviously, you're playing with fire, but maybe initiate a hard count here and see if you can get either a free play. Mm -hmm. or get the defense on their heels and not let them garner as much penetration as they're going to want. It's Rocco Hahn, Hahn, number 89, in motion for the Bobcats. Manicero, nowhere to go and again. They made the exact same play, and nothing, nothing doing there for Saddleback Manicero third down. Good defensive pressure. Penetration by the Hornets. Jerem Jeremy Naborn, number 28. Freshman linebacker out of Corona Centennial gets in and wraps up Manicero. Kadari Kearns also on the tackle. I think you got to roll out Burwald. They've been effective getting five, eight yards doing that. So we'll see on a goal line situation what they choose. He throws, it's tipped, knocked up in the air, incomplete. And the Bobcats will be faced with fourth and decision. Well, the decision is easy. you got to get points on get the board. Get the points. Right there you go. Trailing 17-0. They're looking to get three on the board, and they've got one of the better kickers in the 3C2A in Kyan Afrukde. Eight out of nine on the year. Field goals. This will be a chip shot from about 21 yards. Kyan Afrukde under attempt. A 21-yard field goal. Jacob Moore, the long snapper. Dylan Sprague, the holder for Saddleback. And we've got another timeout, and Fullerton will use their last one of the half. They didn't like something they saw. Quick timeout here. So, Mike, yeah, get three points, make it a two-score game, and then try and get a stop because you deferred, and Saddleback will get the ball to start the second half. So maybe you can get the uh, not quite the make it, take it, but the make it, stop them. Take it and score to start the second half. Fourth. If you're the Bobcats, you can get three here. Get something going. You haven't put points on the board in more than five and a half quarters. And the other thing, Saddleback has all three timeouts. So if they can get 
you know, pin the Hornets back with yeah, a decent kickoff. Exactly. And, and exactly. maybe they can do a make-it-take-it situation if they can get a stop defensively, which the Bobcat defense is capable of doing. Well, you saw how explosive this offense is for the Hornets. Two plays, and they were in. Yeah, big plays, 52-41. Oh, yeah, it was, it was impressive, and it was fast. A fruit day. Gets it up and in. Nine out of ten for Kyan this year on field goals. Still perfect on extra points, 37 for 37. And it makes it 17 to 3 with 325 to go here in the first half. Fullerton 17, Saddleback 3. You're watching SCFA football here on SoCal College Sports. Back at Saddleback Stadium, 3.25 to go here in the first half. Mark Spin along with Mike Cepeda on SoCal College Sports. Saddleback gets the 21-yard field goal from Kaya Nefrupte, who's about to kick off. Bobcats cut it to 17-3, to trying to get a quick stop on Fullerton with all three timeouts remaining for the Bobcats and see if they can't cut the gap more before halftime. And I'd love to see an onside here. Would be awfully brave, but they kick it deep. A fruit day gets it over to Jeremy all the way into the end zone. Jeremy Gonzalez slipped and yep. inside the end zone. The ball came out right there. It's down on the ground, and that's a loose ball, and the Bobcats had a chance for a big turnover. Huge. But instead, not a good decision necessarily, I don't think, by Gonzalez to bring that out of the end zone in that situation. Jeremy, the sophomore wide receiver, was their top possession receiver. They have not thrown to him yet this evening in the offensive formation he took that key, kick a couple of yards deep in the end zone way in his left corner came out lost it on the sideline and he was lucky and we've got a penalty on the play that'll back up the hornets so a break for saddleback right there they're going to pin him back Fullerton will be at their own six yard line after the penalty in the near disaster on the fumble on the kickoff. Ty Dillon was there to fall on it, number 83 for Fullerton to prevent Saddleback from having a golden opportunity. Nunez, ball's loose again and the Bobcats are gonna get it at the three yard line. The bad exchange between Brandon Nunez and Wakapuna. Wow. Yeah, it just came out of Vacapuna, didn't collect it cleanly, and Saddleback is there to fall on it. Great job by the Bobcats. Penetration to get inside to fall on that. Bryce Kreider, number 44, comes up with the fumble recovery, and all of a sudden Saddleback can get right back in this because of a couple of mistakes by the Hornets. Impressive, solid penetration there, but I don't know if the... the it's just a botched handoff between yeah. Nunez. Yeah, it really wasn't anything. I don't think he had anywhere to go, and he may have been looking at the Saddleback defenders yeah. closing in on him before he collected the ball. But now we've got Trey Kukuk in the game at quarterback for the first time tonight for Saddleback, and he'll keep it right there, and Trey will keep it and get into the end zone for the touchdown. Three-yard scramble by Trey Kukuk on the option keeper. Dives head first in the end zone. And Trey Kukuk has got the Bobcats' first touchdown of the evening. Well, you see the burst here after he pulls it. And that's what they didn't have with Burwald. That was a little slow to get to that play. We've seen a couple times Burwald get the edge, but that time Kukuk able to pull it quickly and get past the end zone, breaks the plane, touchdown Bobcats. Wow, what a turn of events. Wow. The Bobcats are going to get the first possession of the second half in addition to this. Still with all three timeouts. 22 seconds and they all of a sudden it went from 17 nothing to 17-10. And on they the also have an opportunity okay. if the defense can respond. They get in the situation here 
No timeouts left for the Hornets. The Bobcats with all three. They could feasibly get the ball back before the end of the second quarter yes. and tie this ball game up. What an unbelievable turn of events here. Strange, strange doing nine. here at Saddleback Stadium where it's now 17-10. to 10. Moments ago it was 17 yep. nothing. Bobcats get the field goal. Fullerton probably made a mistake bringing the kickoff out of the end zone plus a penalty. The ball came loose. They got backed up inside their own five-yard line. A fumble on the exchange. Between Brandon Nunez and uh, Vacapuna, Michael Vacapuna couldn't quite bring it in, had Saddleback defenders closing in. Bryce Kreider falls on it. Trey Kukuk comes in at quarterback for the first time on the evening. And the freshman out of Capistrano Valley High School on the RPO, pulls it, keeps it, dives into the end zone for the score. Score. Saddleback 17-10. to 10. When this one looked like it might be getting out of hand. Suddenly the Bobcats are right back in at 17 to 10. 3.03 to play in a fruit day. We'll kick it again. Jeremy Gonzalez not back there this time. It's Kadari Kearns. And Kearns will pick it up on the bounce. Circling out of his own end zone, brings it straight up the middle. Saddleback's going to corral him at about the 22-yard line. Kadari Kearns trying to make an explosive play on the bounce into the end zone. This game's getting heated. This is interesting. So out to the 22 for Fullerton with 2.53 to go here in the first half. Fullerton will try and get the momentum back instead of giving Saddleback a chance to maybe tie this up before halftime. This is one of those, wow, how did this happen? If you went to get a refresh your beverage and you came back, that score is correct. It's 17 to 10 now. In a matter of 22 seconds, the Bobcats went down from down 17 zip to a field goal, a fumble recovery, and the three-yard touchdown from Trey Kukuk. Nunez, nice defensive play by Michael Diamato, but they're going to get him for the flag. The back judge from way downfield. We'll see if maybe Michael had an arm wrapped around him. Diamato, the top player in Saddleback the, the, secondary. There was some contact. Yeah, you see the arm there, and that's a good call. The arm makes contact, and I don't think that was a catchable ball. It's Jordan Tate, the intended receiver that the – yeah, that's that's one of the – well, Tate was asking for it. Diamato didn't think it should happen, and that the way it always is between receiver and defensive back. They're, First and ten out to the 37 They're now. never the offending party. No, nobody's ever got it right. All right, out of the gun. Nunez, quick drop, some pressure, eludes it, uh -oh. stops, throws – and there is Tate once again. This time he corrals it for the big gain. It is his pass complete by Tate. I think if you're if you're the defense, if you're Saddleback, I think you maybe call a timeout here. Yeah, 20, let yourselves get set. 28-yard gain right there to the Saddleback 35. I mean, the defense is in disarray. Nunez. Rolling right, stops, throws wide open receiver. It's Tate once again. Three straight times they've targeted. Jordan Tate from Florissant, Missouri. And Jordan's got the Hornets knocking on the door to stem the Bobcat momentum going into halftime. This is a huge response here, and you have to take a timeout. We're going to see one taken by Saddleback. Yep. They are reeling. Nice pitch and catch. Tate just found an open area inside the Saddleback deep coverage. And got a gain of about 25 yards to take it to the 10-yard line. And let's see if they're going to call that first and goal. It'll be first and goal. Yes, right at the 10-yard line with 2.14 to go here. Saddleback does take the timeout. Kerry Crabb wants to get his defense resituated and try and keep some of that momentum that was hard fought to get back into this from 17 nothing down to 17 10 but Fullerton wants to extend the lead knowing that Saddleback will get the ball to start the second half Garrett Campbell there with the headset head coach and offensive coordinator played quarterback and wide receiver at Fullerton in the mid 90s 
his dad, Dick Campbell, was a longtime assistant during the Hal Sherbeck years at Fullerton. So he's, he's true Fullerton legacy. Family in the program, played in the program, now the head coach. He was an assistant during those back-to-back 2016-2017 national championship years. Nunez, first and goal from the 10. Looks into the corner of the end zone. That one bounces in. It's incomplete. Pretty good coverage there by Saddleback. Nunez ran into his own man. Trying to get it to Christian Stewart, number 18. One of those... Just a little. Oh, their hand came in nicely right there. I think that was Diamato yep. who got over there with the hand to keep that from being because that was looked like it could be scooped up for the touchdown. Indeed. But it's second and goal now with 208 from the 10 yard line. Again, a little almost a botched exchange. What a great they, job! They throw the Nunez. swing to the right, and Christian Stewart's going to wrestle his way into the end zone for the Hornet touchdown score. Fullerton. Extends their lead after Saddleback had fought back to within a touchdown. Missed opportunity for the Bobcats. They had Nunez bottled up. And he's able to dial up. Well, he's a he's a solid dual threat, you know, quarterback. That's a little bit of big bend. Able to extend the play, make a play. You see it right there, finds an open receiver. And hard to bring down. Fobert on for the extra point. It's up and good. There's another flag. Is Saddleback going to get called for offside on the conversion attempt for the second consecutive time? Wouldn't we'll shock see. Me, that's for sure. Yeah. Trying to make something happen in there. For now, the kick is good to make it 24 10, right at two minutes. Well, you got a couple. Let's see the replay. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, Where's the, there's a hesitation yeah. there. I just don't know why. Well, the, the, That's a heck of, job, heck of a job by the receiver to fight for that touchdown. Bryce Kreider, you know, 275-pounder out of San Juan Hills, number 44, probably just didn't want to yeah, commit he, and let Nunez go and, and do his thing on the ground. He was deer in the headlights. Yeah, and he, he just stopped a little bit, and, and Brandon Nunez just said, okay, you're going to give me a little bit of room, then I'll get it <laughs> off. And that's a great play by Christian Stewart. Sophomore out of Braille, Lindo for his uh, third touchdown of the year. Well, two minutes left, a couple timeouts. Bobcats need to use them. See if they can get this touchdown back or any points back. Again, they get the ball first thing at the start of the third quarter. It's actually the fourth touchdown of the year for Christian Stewart because it's his second on the night. He uh, Got the first score of the game on a 13-yard pass from Nunez in the first quarter. So two touchdowns on the night for Christian, four for the season. Good night for the sophomore out of Braille, Linda, thus far. And Saddleback will see if they can get something going on special teams. Wes Craven, number 83, the freshman out of Dana Hills, had an electrifying 93-yard touchdown return. Could use that right now. Not going to get it. And that's well out of the end zone. Man, that was Sebastian Charles Janikowski, yes. <laughs> Virel, Wilmington, North Carolina product for Fullerton. Bombs that one over the end line. So it'll be first and ten for the Bobcats at the 25-yard line. Bombed it back to North Carolina. <laughs> Two minutes to go. Sent it back to Michael Jordan's hometown. Wilmington, NC. All right. See if the Bobcats come back with Q Cook, and they do. So Trey Q Cook got the three-yard touchdown run on the nice pull and dive into the end zone with explosion. He's got Burak to his right. Two minutes for the Bobcats. Two timeouts left. They trail 24 to 10. A little play fake. Nice. Uh, tried to go to Craven there across the middle. But the freshman from Dana Hill sat down in one spot and Q Cook threw it to another. So it's second and 10 at the 25 with a minute 56. And you don't want to give Fullerton too much time left. You got to keep that into consideration. Yeah, I, I don't know what you're doing as the receiver. You need to turn it up the field. Yeah, he's. they go to Craven on a little swing pass to the right-hand side and Wes will take it out for about six or seven yards. They may call a pick. Yeah, well, I think they're going to get Carrillo Edgar here either for a pick or a hold. Yeah. So the clock stops with a minute 50. Fullerton applauding. It's going to come back against Saddleback. See what the – it's a hold on Carrillo Edgar. 
Mike Zapata on top of that. So that's going to bring up, see where we back it up to. From the spot of the foul, it's going to make it second and 18 back at the 17 yard line for Saddleback. And I think if you're the Hornets, you maybe dial a blitz up here. See if you can really, really generate some type of turnover opportunity. Saddleback has kept the pass rush at bay. There's Burak on a little counter, and he loses the ball. Paulo, as he went to the turf, it came out. Kadari Kearns picks it up. Kearns, who has got elusive skills as one of their top kickoff return men, picks that up. Flags come in at the end. I thought I saw some laundry drop there, but it may have just been a beanbag. And the turnover is going to set up Fullerton at the Saddleback 24-yard line with a minute 35 to go. Kadari Kearns makes the pickup after Saddleback had gotten a little bit of positive yardage on second and long. Worst thing that could have happened right there. Turning it over deep in their own territory from the 23-yard line, 24. Nunez, now he's going to tuck it and run. Nice trip up right there. Yeah. Good job keeping that from turning into a much bigger gain for Nunez. Yeah, that that could have been a, that might have been a touchdown. I believe that was Jaden Williams, number 49, who got him around the, the ankles. Nunez rolling right. Good pressure That's by the bad. Bobcats, and they get the sack right there. That is Tristan McMurray, the linebacker out of Murrieta Mesa. One of their top pass rushers, two and a half sacks on the season. Gets in there and makes it three and a half. McMurray leading the Bobcats, trying to keep Fullerton from making this a three-score game going into halftime. 50 seconds now. Fullerton has no timeouts. Taking their time, Nunez. Bakapuna to his right. He rolls that way. Good pressure on the nice little defective. Diamato, did he catch it? No. I thought there was a deflection as it came in to the receiver. They were trying to get it to Tate again, and I thought maybe they had gotten a deflection. Here comes the field goal unit. And that was not one of Nunez's better throws, and I thought the deflection had gotten... Number 33 for Saddleback, Jackson Hagopian. I thought he got a finger on it, but either way, it's incomplete. And now we've got a 42-yard field goal attempt by Fobert. And he's got the range. 42 is his long on the season, and he I watched well, he, it. He shanked that one. Yeah, but there was a timeout by the Bobcats to ice him, and it always comes back to haunt you. We'll be back for the field goal attempt with 35 seconds left after this timeout on SoCal College Sports. All right, we're back with 35 seconds to go here in the first half. It's fourth and 11, field goal attempt, 42 yards to match the season long for Faubert. And that one is up. It's hooking a little bit, and it's going to go wide left. He had plenty of leg on it, but Jonathan Faubert, the sophomore kicker out of Foothill, 7-8 and eight on the year, now 7 out of 9 as that one drifts wide left. And the Bobcats escape the turnover. Wow. And we'll get it back with 35 seconds left, and you got to think it's time to take a knee. I think you're right. Uh, I was just going to say that. And get out of here trailing 24 to 10, knowing that you're going to get the ball back to start the second half after deferring when winning the toss here on Military Appreciation Night at Saddleback Stadium. Q-Cook is in there. they got multiple. Yeah, they just go down and take a knee, so we're going to let this tick down. Bobcats should not have to run another play, and they don't, and both teams are going to head to the locker room. 
So at the end of the first half, Fullerton 24, Saddleback 10. Saddleback avoids going down three scores when the field goal is no good after the Saddleback turnover. So Bobcats will have a chance to cut into the lead. When they get the ball to start the second half, we'll be back with statistics and the second half here at Saddleback Stadium after intermission here on SoCal College Sports. Thank you for joining us here from Saddleback Stadium in Mission Viejo on a gorgeous night for football.
Mike Zipin along with Mark Spin, SoCal College Sports dot com's coverage SCFA football week nine from Mission Viejo and Mark twenty four to ten it was an ugly half of football really for both teams uh, there was not a lot of rhythm on either side uh, Fullerton showed some of the flashes of why they're ranked number you know six in the country and number four in the state and a you know a very competitive SCFA, State of California well, Community I, College, but besides it, that, it was ugly. In flashes, <laughs> for sure, but in totality, it's one of the worst 8 no performances I've seen in a while. And, you know, maybe a, a case of maybe looking ahead to next week in the big matchup with Riverside, but you still have to take care of business first. It was 17 to nothing, and then all of a sudden it was 17 to 10. And the Bobcats are about to get the ball back. And then the turnover, four turnovers in that first half for Saddleback. And you maybe wonder why it's not even worse. Ooh, big hit on the kickoff right there. Ezekiel Pierce was back to take that kick to start the second half. Bobcats won the toss to start the game. Deferred. Need to get those points here. Yeah, it, it could be a lot worse than 24-10. to 10. Uh, Big mistake by Fullerton down around their own goal line to set up a easy touchdown. Yep. Trey Kuko came in and did the option run, and he'll start the second half at quarterback in place of Brandon Burwald, who played pretty well overall, but two interceptions. And it looked like he just couldn't get any mustard planting off of that back yeah. right foot, and the throws were underthrown. So Q Cook comes on to start the second half, and he'll hand it off to Kenny Manicero. And Manicero fights off one tackler. Flags come in, probably have a hold on the edge. Maybe they got Seth Lyon, the tight end, but we'll see. Yeah, flags at the point of attack usually re going to result in a hold and exactly it. So the Bobcats get backed up right away to start the second half, trailing 24-10. to 10. Spot foul from the third from the 28-yard line, so back it up to the 18. And it'll be, yeah, second and 17 yep. for no, well, for, Saddleback. For, first, first and 17, 17 that is right. They, they get the down back. I was just looking at the stats from the first half, Mike, and, uh, you know, Fullerton was only allowing 50 yards per game rushing, and Saddleback got 72 on the ground in the first half. You would have thought that might have translated into a little more success in terms of points, but no go. The mistakes, four turnovers by Saddleback in the first half. Well, Fullerton very much a bend-don't-break type of defense in that first half, and Saddleback with some success moving the football, just unable to really punch it in until they were on the doorstep via the, pe via the turnover. Manicero for two right there. It's going to bring up second and 15 from the 20-yard line. Q Cook out of the gun. Manicero to his right. Four wide receivers. Three-step drop. He'll throw a deep out on the side. Nice catch. Jacob Sears, number 13, makes this a reception. Good gain for the Bobcats. A little momentum builder all the way out to the 46-yard line. So a gain of 26 on the play. First down saddleback. Just shy of midfield. That's a heck of a job by Kuka, dropping it over the defender and under the safety. Jacob Sears, the sophomore out of Irvine High School. First reception of the evening for Jacob. Manicero, Kenny, gets four solid yards. Manicero. He'll probably give him three officially, and it'll be second and seven at about the 48-49 yard line early here in the third quarter. Hey, Kuka has provided a little juice here. It's been the way it's gone for Saddleback, where the starting quarterback gets replaced, and then the guy who comes off the bench ends up kind of bringing him in a little spark. I thought Burwald had some moments in that first half, but certainly some poor decisions leading to turnovers is probably why he got the hook. I, I think those underthrows were a result of that uh, leg injury that he reportedly has been nursing. There's Tristan Duncan on a quick pitch and catch. Short gain for about two yards. He's going to get to midfield instead yeah. of third manageable. Third and about six for Saddleback. Uh, you looked at the, the first half stats. It's like, okay, 13 first downs each. Time of possession was pretty equal. And then the total yards was 312 to 164 in favor of Fullerton. So you know who was moving the ball. The points just didn't produce for the Hornets. But here's Saddleback with third and six at midfield. Q Cook looks over, gets a new call from Jeff Fisher, the offensive coordinator. Yeah, look for the quick slant here. That's been successful with the de defensive backs playing off. Three wide receivers to the right-hand side. Tristan Duncan split wide to the left. Manicero in the backfield. Q Cook straight drop, throws a nice lob pass to Jacob Sears all the way down the middle. Jacob Sears will go in wow. for the touchdown. 50-yard touchdown pass. Saddleback gets a second-half score they needed. 
to get back in this. An extra point away from making it a seven point game. Trey Cook to Jacob Sears. Score for Saddleback. 12.07 to go in the third quarter. Beautiful pitch and catch. Great touch on that. That's just a great call. Look at this play here. They're able to buy Kuk up a little bit of time, and he just puts it up the seam and finds a wide-open receiver. Jacob Sears, two big plays on this drive. Guy and Afrukte on for the extra point to make this a 24-17 game. We'll see if Kaya can stay perfect for the year. 38 for 38, no announcer's curse. He is yet to miss an extra point this season. And he gets to watch himself do it. That's right, on the big screen. Hopefully that doesn't, and that's right down the pipe, and it is now 24-17. Saddleback right back in it here on Military Appreciation Night at Saddleback Stadium. Fullerton 24, Saddleback 17 after the 50-yard touchdown pass from Q Cook to Jacob Sears here on SoCal College Sports. Back here at Saddleback Stadium, SCFA National Division Southern League action. Visiting Fullerton Hornets in the white with the black trim about to receive from Saddleback in their alternate home uniforms. Now, was was there a penalty? There was a penalty while we were away. Personal foul during the extra point conversion results in Saddleback now kicking off from Uh, midfield. To be honest, I, I think you maybe think about an onside here. Christian Stewart, one of the number 18, back to receive. You may go onside. It's 24-17. Saddleback right back in it. Maybe they'll just boom it out of the end zone. They kick a low liner. They did a little bit of a – Saddleback says they have it. There's flags down. I think the Bobcats were offside (sighs) on the the attempt right there. So they're going to – they did a little line drive drill right at uh, Fullerton Upman. I believe they targeted uh, big number 41, C.J. Nesmith, the 6'5 defensive lineman. Well, they got a little bit out over yeah, their skis. They, they <laughs> and it's going to result. We'll see what the Shane Smith yet. Offside on the Bobcats on the kickoff, so they'll have to redo it from the 45, and maybe now you just kick it away. Well, back it up five. I- you can still, you're still in field position where you can. Well, the, the element of surprise is kind of yeah, out the window here. Gone. But, That's I mean, right. why not go back to it? You know, if you, if you throw it through the back of the end zone, you're only going to get 25 yards. You go 10 yards here. Anything can happen. Well, we'll see what uh, special teams coach Dana Roach from Saddleback and maybe Kerry try Crab the other side. Decide to do a fruit day. Takes his usual ten yard run up position, and we'll see how Fullerton elects to. They don't necessarily have the hands team in, and it'll be kicked through the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. Yeah, so. The, God, it, the element of such surprise. A, such an opportunity there to get the ball right back after you score the opening touchdown in the second half. And we got a ball game here, Mark. We now all of a sudden have a ball game, which is not something we thought we would be saying perhaps at this point because meanwhile, Saddleback was sputtering. Meanwhile, score update from Ventura, 13-7. to El Camino out in front of the Ventura College Pirates. So that's a huge game in the National yes. Northern Division. The Northern League leading Ventura Pirates, 5-0 and coming into this one. El Camino trying to spoil that party by taking over the head-to-head lead yeah. with a victory to put both they teams would, at 5-1. They, and one. they would own the tie break. That's right. In the north. All right, Nunez in. Acapuna on his left. They hand it off to Michael. 
the 215-pound hard runner out of Kahuku, Hawaii. Gets a solid gain of about eight out to the 33-yard line, second and two for Fullerton, leading 24 to 17. And another update. We go back to New York. 14-13 <laughs> now. Ventura now with a one-point lead as we wind down the time in the third quarter. This is going to be good for a first down for Fullerton. Yeah, Kapuna goes hard up the middle for five, out to the 38-yard line, first and ten. Hornets, 8-0 on the season, 5-0 in the Southern League. Saddleback 5-3 and three and 4-1 four and one had their five-game winning streak snapped at Riverside last week. Acapuna on sweet. No, Nunez on a nice play fact. Kept it, went right up the middle. And got a solid gain of about six yards out to the 44-yard line. Brandon Nunez showing why he is that dual threat that he is. 5.2 yards a carry. You know he's got nine touchdowns on the ground. Wow. So you know it's not just goal line situations either. But it's Josh Allen-esque. Yeah. He's a weapon at 6'5", 225. Play fake. Now he hands it off to Acapuna, and they're just running straight up the gut on Saddleback. Nice job by the Bobcats to limit the game, but it's a first down for Fullerton. Out across the 49-yard line, it'll be first and 10, just shy of midfield for Fullerton going quickly here. Well, you remember the hurry-up offense was really problematic for the Bobcats in that first half. Yeah, quick hitters. Nunez again keeps it straight up the middle, showing good speed, bursting, long strides. Great acceleration, Brandon Nunez out of Mountain View High School in Mesa, Arizona. Big gainer all the way down, 31 yards. First down at the 20, Saddleback right in the red zone for Fullerton at the Saddleback 20. Nunez will keep it scrambling to his left. He's going to get about a gain of seven, gets out of bounds without getting hit. Brandon Nunez turning on the Jets here to start the second half on Fullerton's first possession after Saddleback has cut into this lead to make it 24-17. Big response for the offense of Fullerton. The Hornets now in position. It'll be second and three at the 13. Nunez and Vacapuna in the backfield. Three wide receivers to the right. The big six-foot-five target, Leland Smith, down here on the left. Nunez will keep it again on the RPO and gets it down to about the nine-yard line. It'll be first and goal for Fullerton there as we go under 10 minutes here in the third quarter in a 24-17 game. Saddleback hanging around despite the four first-half turnovers. Yeah, how is it only a seven-point game? Strange things have happened, to be sure. The, the turnover inside their own three-yard line by Fullerton definitely gave Saddleback some life. Ten quick points, the field goal, and then the recovery on the fumble. There's Vacapuna straight up the middle, gets, gets down to the five-yard line. It'll be second and goal for Fullerton. Michael Vacapuna. I've heard they call him Elvis, and I don't know that for sure, so I'm not going to. Maybe he's just a big fan. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Michael Vacapuna is a hard man to bring down at 5'8", 215. Yeah, big low center of gravity, and then... You, know, you get your change of pace, as it were, with Nunez. He's got over 100 yards now. That carry gets him to 106. Stack slot receivers. On 14 carries. Nunez, quick hitter over the middle. There's Jake, There's Leland Smith, excuse me, number 15. The man averaging 27.4 yards per catch only needs a five-yarder there for six points, and that's all that matters to Leland Smith and the Hornets. Score for Fullerton to extend their lead. And they bring him Across the formation after they had stacked the slot with a couple of receivers. And the crossing route pays dividends in for six are the Hornets because they extend on their lead. Saddleback had done an excellent job, did not allow a catch. Fulbert's extra point is up and good to make it 31-17 in the first half. The leading yardage per catch receiver in the state, Leland Smith out of Houston, Texas. Gets his first catch of the night, and it's good for the touchdown for Fullerton. They lead 31-17, 8.39 to go third quarter on SoCal College Sports.
We are back here at Saddleback Stadium. Mark Spin along with Mike Zapata. The Hornets answer Saddleback's opening drive to score a touchdown in the second half with one of their own. Extend the lead back to 14 points, 31-17. Fullerton leads Saddleback here on Military Appreciation Night at Saddleback Stadium. Bobcats get a yard and then lose a yard in terms of the score, but Fullerton just quickly went down the field there. Brandon Nunez hit his favorite target, Leland Smith. Usually it's a big play between those two, but it's a big play on the scoreboard because there were six points for Fullerton on the short touchdown pass, five-yarder from Nunez, fourth of the night for Brandon. And Saddleback now trails by 14 points. Q Cook remains in at quarterback. Paulo Burek to his left. Four wide receivers. Little pitch out to Burek on the left-hand side. Paulo pounds his way out for about a gain of three. They'll make it second and seven at the 28-yard line. I think he ran into his own guy. And that's not something that they can afford to do at this point, trailing by 14. Just an impressive response from Fullerton after Saddleback got that opening score of the second half on their first possession. Here's Burak, quick drop. Tipped up in the air and intercepted there. That's uh, McNeely, their leading tackler, top defender, Jeremiah McNeely, the sophomore linebacker out of San Antonio, Texas, Brody Academy's finest. Got in the passing lane, got a hand up in the air. Great play by McNeely. Yeah, he just really stepped into that and made an athletic play to get his hand up, tip it straight up in the air, and then come down with the interception. He he baits Kuka to to make that throw, and you see him you see him kind of bluff one way and comes back, taps the ball, gets it into the air. It's a turnover. Fifth turnover for Saddleback on the evening. Two lost fumbles, three interceptions, two from Burwald in the first half. That one on Q-Cook here. Great play by Jeremiah McNeely. Outstanding defensive back for Fullerton. Hornets take over the Saddleback 29 and, oh, almost she broke that Gary one right Garnett there. Davis. That was Garnett Davis the third. Another out of state from West Bloomfield, Michigan. One of the 45 players Fullerton has on the roster from outside of California. Such a heralded program known across the country. Players come from across the U.S. of A. And that's one of the reasons they have talent year in and year out. Five national championships for Fullerton since 1965. Second and seven, they'll go to a little handoff. That time on a little misdirection, quick hitter. Diamato in there to finish it off. Not much doing there. Let me set up a third down and a possible three and out carry. situation. This could be four down territory. Oh, absolutely. You know, the way they've been able to get yards. And it is a night of fog in Ventura. Oh, no. The fog bowl. Fog bowls. Announcers nightmare. <laughs> All right. It's third and seven. Nunez down the left-hand sideline, and there he is again, Leland Smith, this time showing that long yardage that he's such a specialist at. Back-to-back touchdown receptions for Leland Smith now on two drives, and Fullerton opens up a three-score lead on the beautiful pitch and catch down the left-hand sideline. Nothing K.O. Wallace could do against the six-foot-five Leland Smith who got past him. Perfectly thrown ball by Nunez. Touchdown, Fullerton, score. Fulbear looking to make it 38-17 with six and a half to go in the third. Well, what we didn't see in that first half, the Hornets capitalizing points off of turnovers. We see it right there, the interception off of Kukuk, and then Nunez hooks up again for the score. Fulbear, perfect on the night on extra points. Missed one 42-yard field goal, drills that extra point perfectly, and it makes it 38-17. to 17. Fullerton, 38, Saddleback 17, 6.35 to go here in the third. Back for the kickoff here on SoCal College Sports.
Back at Saddleback Stadium, impressive back-to-back scores from Fullerton after Saddleback had started the second half with a touchdown drive to make it 24-17. It's now 38-17. Fullerton, touchdown passes from Nunez to Leland Smith on back-to-back drives. Ezekiel Pierce takes the kickoff, rolls forward to about the 29-yard line. Bobcats will try and get something going here, trailing by 21 with 6.30 to go here in the third quarter. Fullerton starting to roll, Mike. Indeed, Nunez uh, showing why he's one of the top QBs in California in the 3C2A. And Fullerton, uh, ugly first half and pretty pretty impressive here in the second, yeah. offensively anyway. Yeah. So five touchdown passes on the night for Nunez. Two drives, two touchdowns. Leland Smith with a couple... Christian Stewart with a couple. Cameron Woods with another. Five TD passes for Nunez. It's like Ellen giving away cars. <laughs> you get a touchdown. You get a touchdown. Manicero. Kenny goes around the left-hand side. Gets a gain of about three. They may give him four out to the 33-yard line. It'll be second and about six or seven, depending on where the foot came down. And Saddleback's going to have to be quick and hurry. They're going to have to do what John Wooden said don't do. Be quick, but don't hurry. Saddleback's got to do both because they're down three scores to the number six ranked team in the nation by J.C. Gridiron, number four in the state of California, the loaded Southern California region. There's going to be a hold there on the Bobcats. I think they're going to get Seth Lyon, the tight end. Seth doesn't agree with the call, but it's going to back the Bobcats up. Well, that's second five, make it second 15 after this. They did give Manicero a full five yards on that, so he fell forward right to the 34, but now it backs up on the spot foul. Back to the 24, so it's going to be second and 15 for Saddleback from their 24-yard line as we get under six minutes here in the third quarter. Q Cook, quick pitch and catch out there. Be a five yard, six yard gain on that. They can give him six. It's up to the 30 yard line. They need the 39 for first. Third and nine. That was Josiah Smith, number 18, on the catch. Four wide receivers, three to the right. Q-Cook rolls down the middle, and there's that sack. Only the second in the game for that fearsome Fullerton pass rush, which is averaging more than five sacks or almost five sacks per game coming in. That time they get to Q-Cook for the second sack of the night. That's a freshman mistake right there. You have to realize it's a passing down, pinning your ears back. You've got to get the ball out in a hurry, and he's just holding the football. Q-Cook has to eat it. C.J. Nesmith came in with four sacks. On the season, adds to his total right there. The 6'5 defensive end, edge rusher, gets to Q-Cook. Bobcats will have to punt. Not what they needed, trailing by 21 here late in the third quarter. Takes a bounce to Kadari Kearns. Kearns moving left, still got room along the left-hand side. Stumbles at midfield, gets his balance back, now cuts back to the right. And I think Kadari Kearns is going to bust this all the way for the score. Kadari Kearns takes that punt back. I'll get you the official yardage, more than 65 yards. Braden Biller's punt, Kadari Kearns. What a run back. Kept his footing, stumbled a bit at midfield, cut back the sophomore out of Flossmore, Illinois. Goes the distance, and this is getting out of hand. Well, update from Ventura. El Camino now up 20 to 14. Okay, they're in the fourth. Fullerton's going to go for two here to make it a 46 to 17 game. This may just be a, a working on something for next week and or any postseason. And they throw a little oh. swing pass out to Gonzalez, who stops and throws on the trickeration. And I hate using that word, but that's what it was. A little ruski there by Garrett Campbell and company. And Leland Smith reels that one in for the two points. 
And we are at 48, or excuse me, 46 to 17. Fullerton now just cruising here at Saddleback Stadium. 4.04 to go here in the third quarter. We'll be back with the kickoff here on SoCal College Sports. Welcome back to Saddleback Stadium here on the campus of Saddleback College in Mission Viejo. Fullerton's pulling away now. What'd you say, Mike? It was 65 like yard, I believe. Uh, I believe that was picked up at the 35 yard line. Upon further review, Kadari Kearns with the 65 yard punt return for touchdown, and then the two point conversion. Well, not that long ago, it was 24-17 after the Bobcats scored to open the third quarter. It has been all. All Hornets. 24-17. See you later, I believe, was yep. the comment you made, Mike. Yep. And that is absolutely spot on. Mark Spin and Mike Cepeda here at Saddleback College on Military Appreciation Night. And the Bobcats now probably just trying to find some things that might work to take into next week's regular season ending contest at Mount San Jacinto. Fullerton trying to keep everybody ready to go for next week's massive matchup with Riverside. Matchups. Yes, Huge matchups. Little scramble, nice little dish off to Pierce Tangal. Tangal's got room down the right side, and he's going to take it for a nice gain for the Bobcats. No quit there. The freshman out of Jay Sarah. Cuka took a massive hit Tackled on that play. Johnson. Trey hung in and got rid of it just in time as that uh, Fullerton pass rush is now really starting to get in to Q Cook's face and get into the saddleback backfield. That's a nice job by Q Cook, maintaining composure. Knows he's going to take the big hit, able to dump it off in a position where there's going to be some yards after the catch. A little handoff to Ezekiel Pierce. He'll dive forward and get about Pierce four on the play here. down to the Fullerton 28. We saw Q Cook there. Nice the job finding game. Pierce Tangall. Jordan Crawford. And Pierce made a nice job cutting to the sideline, getting upfield. Nice gain. It'll be second and six from the 28 for the Bobcats. Q Cook with Ezekiel Pierce in the backfield. Seth Lyon the slot at tight end off the left side. Marcus Carrillo Edgar split wide to the right at the bottom of your screen. Q Cook looks that way to Carrillo Edgar into the end zone. Broken up there. The flag comes in. Yeah, I thought there was a little bit of contact there. Yeah, he threw it short, and that's, a, that's textbook pass interference. You make contact with the receiver. Your head's not turned around. That's you know, it's an easy flag. You know, the coverage was there, but the ball was a little bit underthrown, and then it just cruise, turns into that you ran into me situation. I, you, you make 
I mean, contact with two different arms. You're not even looking at the football. What exactly are you trying to argue? Yeah, Mo and Gamage, number 16, on the coverage. Watch it here at the end. Yeah. yeah Ball's not there. You're making contact with two, two hands. Clear flag. So the Bobcats are going to try and get back in this with a score here to try and make it a three-score game. They're at the 12-yard line, 13, we'll call it. First down, it is at the 13. After the pass interference penalty. Got to go. Clock running down, two on the play clock. Cuca gets it off. Fakes it to Pierce, now throws a little swing out to Seth Lyon. The big tight end rumbles down to the five. It'll be second and about a yard and a half for the Bobcats right about the five-yard line. Thought he got out of bounds. I'm surprised the clock's still moving. Big Seth Lyon. They mark it at the six, so it's going to be a solid two yards, second and a long two for the Bobcats. Well-executed play action there from Q Cook. Hand off to Pierce, base up the middle. Ezekiel Pierce from Arapahoe High School in Centennial, Colorado. Six yard touchdown run, Saddleback no quit here. Bobcats trying to get back in this. They get the quick hitter up the middle, Ezekiel Pierce. Right off tackle, good job following his blocking. Gets into the end zone for the touchdown for Saddleback. More importantly, stays on his feet here after a big hit. Yeah. Bounced off the tackles, found the gap. Didn't even go down. Four touchdowns on the year now for Ezekiel. A fruit day on for the extra point. Up and good, and that makes it 46-24 with 2.13 to go. Key play in that drive, the 63-yard completion from Q Cook to Pierce Tangall to get him into the red zone. Ezekiel Pierce finishes it off. Saddleback cuts into the lead. Back with the kickoff here on SoCal College Sports. Welcome back to Saddleback Stadium, where the points are plentiful here tonight on Military Appreciation Night. Yeah, I hope you had the over. <laughs> Fullerton leads 46-24, to 24, and we've got 2.13 to go here in the third quarter. Who knows where this will end up? I'm not sure about that decision to bring it out, but they do, and Fullerton's going to get knocked down at the 18 or 15-yard line. That's the second... Bad decision I think they might have made. Christian Stewart's got two touchdown receptions tonight. The wide receiver wanted to make a big play, but Saddleback special teams did a nice job, as they did earlier on a bad decision by Jeremy Gonzalez, bringing it out of the corner of the end zone. Well, Fullerton this evening has shown a propensity to be able to make bad decisions, uh, and they've also been really, really good. Yeah, they go from explosive to what was that, but they've got all the talent in the world offensively and that pass rush their secondary led by jeremiah mcneely new, co- new quarterback yeah and they're going to go to you know keeping brandon nunez ready for riverside next week i gotta think this is nathan cornby number nine Whoa. freshman with limited playing time he's 10 for 20 with 151 yards and a couple of tds the on the year from villa park high school so Incomplete on first down. It'll be second and 10 at the 15-yard line for Fullerton. Third quarterback of the evening for the Hornets. Garrett Larson saw some time in the first quarter in relief of Nunez. Cornby 6'1", 200-pounder, as I said, freshman out of Villa Park. Vacapuna takes it on the inside handoff and gets about six yards up to the 21. Third and short, about four yards for Fullerton who are now probably just playing tick, tick, tick on the clock. And Saddleback, uh, they're going to have to rip at the ball and get a turnover and and get a flurry of mistakes 
from Fullerton like they did at a couple of points here to get back into this game. But right now, Fullerton is probably just going into clock management conservative mode. First down here would go a long way to sealing this going into the fourth quarter. Hornsby, just as I say that, throws the first down strike on third and four. Cornby with a nice pass, pitch and catch to, uh, I believe that's uh, C.J. Broy out of uh, Notre Dame High School from Riverside. So C.J. gets the first down for the Hornets, and they take it up to the 29-yard line as we go near a minute to go here in the third quarter. 46 to 24, high-scoring. Fun to watch, but kind of in a ooh-ah kind of cheese. What are they doing kind of way? Little flick pass out to Vacapuna. Cornby is incomplete. It'll be second and 10. Stops the clock with 52 seconds here in the third quarter. Rough day for Notre Dame, the university. Lost to Clemson earlier today. That's not one of the games you... No, that's not one of the ones I'm trying not to hear the score on. So thank you, Mike Zepeda. Appreciate that. But yeah, I did actually watch that one a little bit. And, uh, you know, all the years I spent in Charleston, South Carolina, I knew a lot of Clemson fans, yeah. and they liked to beat Notre Dame very, very much. All right, second and ten for the Hornets. That was early movement. Little movement, uh, and we'll see what they call it. Yep, indeed, back it up five, so second and 15 coming up. Yeah, movement by yep. the left guard. Left guard. Hard not to see that big fella move. <laughs> that is Sammy Garcia, who goes 6'5", 375. Yeah, those big boys don't, <laughs> get, a, don't get a lot of well, – we don't get away with anything. And I don't want to single him out because he's done a fine job in helping the Hornets roll up some serious yardage on offense. Just got caught that time because you can't hide when you're that big. Little handoff inside. Gain of about three for Vacapuna. And it's going to bring up third and about 12 from the 27-yard line as we're under 30 seconds to go now here in the third quarter. Time ticking down in the fourth. 20-14 to 14 El Camino with the lead at Ventura. Ventura with the ball just picked up a first down. And again, that's a big game in the Northern League. El Camino trying to get the head-to-head there. Ventura was 5-0. and El Camino 4-1 and in league coming into that. Nice little play fake there, but nobody home. And uh, C.J. Broy said he was held, and I think the uh, back judge is going to agree because a flag came flag in. Out yeah, arm. flag came in. So that might be the five-yard defensive holding first down when it would have been fourth and 12. We'll see how they call it. And they call interference. interference. Yeah. So New set of downs and an Shane opportunity Smith. for the Hornets to – Flip the field a little bit more. And we'll go into the fourth quarter. Got 12 seconds left here in the third. I wonder if they start running the clock after the uh, after they get everything set. I'm, I'm certain the Hornets would be completely fine with that. Or do we have to run another play? I believe we will have at least one more play here in the third quarter because it was a penalty on an incomplete pass, so no winding of the clock. And they're going to try one deep down the field. Oh. I'm not quite sure why, but... Apparently, the Hornets are not content with the 46-24 lead, and I suppose, why not? Hey, well, they weren't you know. content when they were up 44 to 17. They went for the two-point right. conversion. And this is one hell of an effort. Yeah, it's Brody Windham, the freshman out of Norco. He's got a couple interceptions on the season for Saddleback. Getting up high and almost interse- intercepting Nathan Cornby. And that was underthrown a little bit. Yeah, you gotta you got to scratch and, your head at the play call. Yeah, he was trying to get it to Tate, Jordan Tate. And that'll be our final play of the third quarter. So at the end of three quarters, here at Saddleback Stadium, Fullerton 46, Saddleback 24. You are watching Southern California Football Association action here on SoCal College Sports.
We start the third qu- uh, fourth quarter with uh, Fullerton third and eight from their own 43-yard line. Handoff straight up the middle to Garnett Lewis. And he, uh, excuse me, Garnett Davis, the third. Garnett Davis, the third. And he got about two or three out to the 46, and it'll be fourth and about five for Fullerton. And they will punt after the four-yard gain by the sophomore out of West Bloomfield, Michigan, St. Mary's High School, Garnett Davis, the third. Haven't seen much of a punt situation from Fullerton tonight. As a matter of fact, I think this is the first one. Luke Mamana back to punt for the Hornets. The left footer gets it away. A little bit of a rush. Fair catch called for there by Saddleback. Chase Christner with the fair catch. And Saddleback will take over at their 21-yard line. 14-17 to go. They trail 46-24. What do you do, Mike? Well, you get the ball downfield quickly. (laughs) That's what you do. No brainer there, but it's got to be these quick hitters because they cannot handle this. uh, Quick hitters, maybe mixing a couple draws here and there, but for the most part. Paulo Burak back in the game, number three to the left. Four wide receivers. Two steps. Now he's holding on to it. There's some good coverage downfield being chased back, and he throws that one late down the middle. Dane Benedict's there, number 16, got hands on it. Nice throw by Q Cook, the former Capistrano Valley High School teammates there. Not a bad throw indeed. I thought that was in a position where the receiver could make a play on it. Yeah, Just Benedict's. able to haul it in, but let's watch it here on replay. He's throwing against the grain under duress. And That's a hell of a ball. Yeah, it's a great throw by Q Cook, who did a nice job, and his teammate from Capo Valley, Dane Benedict, just couldn't quite bring it in. A little quick flick out to the outside to Tristan Duncan, and that's good for about a yard. It'll be third and nine. As Saddleback trying to cut into this 22-point deficit. It's still doable, but a lot's got to happen for Saddleback. And it's got to happen fast. Under 14 to play here. Fullerton looking to go to 9-0. and Mike, have we seen a score from San Diego Mesa with Riverside and San Diego Mesa? 35-14 last I checked. I, I could be wrong on that. Let me double check. All right. Yeah, that would set up the two undefeateds in the Southern League. little swing pass over the middle. Nice gain there by Josh Collins, but it's going to be short of the first down. Saddleback's going to have to go for it, I think, on fourth and about mm, four from their own 28, 28 and a half yard line. 31-13, excuse me. 31-13. So Riverside, the number one ranked team in the state and in the SCFA, obviously, uh, looking to go to 9-0. and Fullerton looking to join them, and they play next Saturday in Riverside at 12 noon in one for all the mar- marbles in the Southern League and all sorts of playoff implications. Well, in the fourth quarter, Cerritos trailing Golden West by 7, 14-7. Braden Biller punts. The Bobcats elect to kick it out of there instead of turning it over deep in their own end. Not a particularly good kick by Braden, who has had an excellent year, averaging nearly 40 yards a kick. That one not quite to his usual standard. It'll be first down for Fullerton at their own 45-yard line, 12.46 to play. And now it's just a matter of uh, grinding out clock and, and getting the bus warmed up. Yeah, and this is a get-the-bus-warmed-up situation for the Hornets. A nice crowd, a good representation from the Fullerton fans who have made the trip down to Saddleback. This is likely going to be the final home game of the year for the Bobcats. And yep. We certainly appreciate everybody that's tuned in and watched Bobcat football this season yep. on SoCalCollegeSports.com. I'm surprised to see Brandon Nunes back in the game, but he is, and he... Throws a little swing pass out to Garnett Davis, the third. And Davis gets a nice gain down the sideline for a first down. This is a situation where you're just trying to keep your quarterback sharp for the biggest game of the year next week. Gain of 17. And Nunez, now it's popped up. Oh, and Tristan McMurray, the sophomore linebacker, had the golden opportunity as Nunez took a hit as he was trying to get rid of it. He uh, That that is shaking his throwing hand. And that's the worst nightmare for Garrett Campbell and the Hornets is your top quarterback. 
Well, I understand trying to keep him sharp, but you're up 46 yeah, 24 he, at the start of the fourth quarter. What are you doing? He doesn't need to be in the game, I wouldn't think, but uh, I don't know if there's a record they're trying. I mean, he's thrown for five touchdowns, uh, but I, I don't understand it myself, but okay. Hey, Garrett Campbell knows what he's doing, the head coach of yeah. Fullerton, so. Man, that was an opportunity for the Bobcats to get the ball right back. And I think you're absolutely right, Mike, in just keeping them sharp because next week is going to be for the well, proverbial. No being sharp if you can't throw the football <laughs> with a swollen or broken hand. Well, and, and Saddleback is not a team that is without defensive power and strength. They've right, got yeah. big, strong, fast well, dudes. Ex- exactly right. I mean, their strong point this season has been their defense. That's right. And you've got, you know, Travis Arena and Tristan McMurray and big Lassier Lucer, you know, are still in the game for the Bobcats. All sorts. Travis Arena, Enrique and Posta, I mean, they and, and Diamato, they'll hit you. And they're not going to just lay down because no. your star quarterback is still in the game with a 22-point lead. Garnett Davis gets a nice little gain around the right side after the holding call against Fullerton. It's going to be third and about 15. Bobcats need, or excuse me, the Hornets need to get to the 28-yard line of the Bobcats for a first down. Nunez, he's going to take off and run, and he's I got to think it. he's going to scramble and he's going to keep going. Brandon Nunez takes a hit, but he gets a big first down. Big chunk play there for Nunez and. Just took off running and picked up 21 yards on the scramble and a first down to the Saddleback. Red zone, long pass, nice layout there by Tate just out of his reach. Excuse me, that's C.J. Broy, number two, far into the field from our vantage point. C.J. made a nice diving attempt on that. Incomplete. Nunez now over 100 yards rushing, 118 unofficially at this point. And it brings up second and 10 from the Saddleback 24-yard line as we get under 11 minutes to play after the next snap. Going to be an interesting matchup next week with the Hornets traveling to Riverside. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's massive. It really is a big game. Vacapuna. They shut out Riverside did last week, shut out Saddleback and route to their win to keep them undefeated. You know, and, and speaking of last week, I mean, maybe the forfeit last week from Grossmont, maybe this is why more reps for the, the Fullerton starters. And, That's a good point. You know, I mean, they, they got an unexpected forfeit win last week when Grossmont couldn't make the trip up to Fullerton. So now the Hornets did not play. They had that week off unexpected, so maybe you need to, as you said, keep these guys sharp, and that just dawned on me when you mentioned last week. Well, the Bobcats were having a rough go of it in Riverside. Fullerton had an unexpected week off. Oh, man. A little toss over the middle to C.J. Broy just off his fingertips. Yeah, he just didn't haul it in. Maybe looked upfield before he brought that one home, and that's going to bring up a fourth down and nine. <laughs> and Nunez is a gamer. He's saying, hey, let me stay on the field. I can pick Let's this up. It's only it. fourth and nine. I think they're going to let Fulbert try Yeah, I, th- I think they're going to give their, their kicker some reps, see if you can yep. connect on a 39-yarder. Missed earlier from 42. Yes, he did, and that is his long in the season. This is well within his range. And obviously, like said, you know, three points could be the difference when you're up against the upper echelon of the SCFA, and that's exactly what they're going to be up against next week at Riverside. 39-yarder from Fobear, plenty of leg. I think that's good. And it's right down the pipe for three more points to make it 49-24 with 10-17 to play. Fullerton gets a field goal. Jonathan Fobear from 39 yards. Well, only one game on the docket next week. It's Mount Sac at Golden West at noon kickoff. And Just, that's speaking of massive. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, these are all top eight teams in the state and, and so forth. Mount, Mount, you know, Fullerton, Riverside, Mount Sac, Golden West. It's the top four teams in the SCFA all playing each other in the final week of the regular season. It does not get any better than that. Sportsnet USA will have the coverage or I believe Riverside TV will have the coverage. Riverside TV, uh, I believe, Next yes. week, I believe that's also an that early game noon, at Wheelock Stadium. Typically noon yeah. kickoff at Wheelock Stadium, exactly. And so we'll have competing uh, <laughs> big-time matchups in the SCFA next week. And uh, that's why well, you got I, I can't wait. Jeff Stoinoff will have the call along with myself. Uh, 
a week from today. Two laptops, fire them both up, you know, <laughs> watch one on your phone, do what you got to do. But, yeah, that's some good community college football action. We need, a, we need like an SCFA red zone network or something like that. Well, you know. Well, we need to get that in the works. Mike, I have you and I have talked about this a little bit off air where I've always kind of wondered why California community college football does not go to the model used in other states where they might play on Thursday nights because these are two high-quality football games. Yeah. But competing against the four-year school followings of the SCs and UCLAs. It's tough. Paulo Burak has got some room on the kickoff return from VRL, and he'll take it out to about the 37, 38-yard line before he stopped. Nice return by Paulo. Bobcats are still fighting, but they're down 49-24. to 24. You know, and you think about a game like this, I mean, Fullerton and Saddleback, long rivals, a lot of history between the uh, – this will give Fullerton, if things stay the way they are, the edge in the season history, uh, the series history. Is that right? 19 to 18. They wow. came in deadlocked at 18 wins apiece. And Fullerton, will, after holding off last year, a late rally by Saddleback to win here at Saddleback Stadium. The quirk in the scheduling because of the realignment of the Southern League, bringing in Riverside and, you know, they now with the eight teams. Yeah, schedule. some uh, some stepping up in, from the American to the national uh, in terms of conferences, conference realignment. Saddleback player down on that first down run, and that is big Christian Herrera, the six foot two eighty five sophomore out of Corona Centennial, and immediately several of the uh, Fullerton players kind of you know were checking to see if he was okay because he yeah. rolled over in, in obvious discomfort. As soon as he hit the ground, he's up now. And he's coming off kind of gingerly, but coming off mostly under his own power. Yep. Some assistance. Good to see. Hopefully he'll be ready for next week when the Bobcats travel to Mount San Jacinto to close out the season and then see where they might fall into a, a bowl situation. This loss will eliminate them from any Southern California Football Association, you know, Southern Regional playoffs, of course, but... That was unlikely anyway. Weird things would have had to have happened with Riverside tonight and next week. Q Cook, nice hard throw right there, just a little bit low and headed for Jacob Sears, who he had two good uh, throws to during a touchdown drive to start the second half. Jacob couldn't quite reel that one in, a little bit low and outside. Saddleback will be third and about seven. From their own 42-yard line, 9.41 to go here. Kenny Manicero in the backfield for Saddleback. Four wide receivers. Marcus Creo Edgar. There's Cuca keeping it on the run pass option. And designed run, I think, for Trey. And he's going to get it into fourth and manageable at the 47. It'll be fourth and two for the Bobcats. And I have to think that Kerry Crabb's going to say, let's go ahead and do this. And the clock wind stopped at 9.31. Referee Shane Smith gets things situated, winds the clock under nine and a half now. Fourth and two for the Bobcats from their own 47. Absolutely last gasp. Manicero, hard running, and Kenny will get the first down. A lot of sheer will and effort right there by Kenny Manicero. Update from Ventura, 21-20. Ventura scores from 21 yards out with a minute 14 remaining in the fourth. It's gone final, and Ventura remains undefeated in the National Northern Division and poised to advance with an automatic birth into the SEFA playoffs. I think they play Canyons next week. Yep. Yeah. And Q Cook, nice little drop-off pass right there, rolling to his right. Had time, looked down the field. Found a receiver in space. Schroeder Ditch, the 6'5 freshman from Tribuco Hills, makes his first catch of the evening. Yeah, and I don't, I don't think... Uh, I don't think Ventura can be dispatched from the mountaintop in the National Northern Division. They hold the tiebreaker now versus El Camino. Uh, I believe Canyons has dropped a couple in league play. And Alan Hancock, I believe, they dispatched earlier this season. So they would also have the tiebreak there. First down for the Bobcats on the pitching catch from Q 
Cook to Schroeder Ditch. They are at the 36-yard line of Fullerton, 8.20 to go here, trailing 49-24. Oh. Pass through the hands of Jacob Sears. I think Jacob lost sight of that one. Well, it had to come through, yeah, it had to come through a defenders. veil of defenders, yeah. uh, three of them to be exact, and that's one heck of a delivery there from Kukuk. I thought nice Sears ball. missed out, yeah. Well, let's take a look at that Northern League next week. I believe you are right in that the win tonight clinches it for Ventura. Handoff on the inside. Ezekiel Pierce running hard. Again, the Bobcats still going full speed all the way through this. So next week, Ventura does play Canyons. And Canyons came into tonight. Yeah, SCTV will have coverage of that with, uh, two, with, with two With two losses in, in the league. So, yeah. yes, that effectively wraps it up for Ventura. Q-Cook pulls it out of Ezekiel's nice belly. Move. Nice move down the left-hand sideline. Trey Q-Cook going to go all the way in for the score. Trey Q-Cook, 30-yard scamper around the left-hand side. Read the defense correctly. Pulled it out of Pierce's belly. Accelerated down the left-hand sideline. Touchdown, Saddleback. Score for Trey Q-Cook to put the 30th point on the board. What a great cut there from Kukuk and man, showing off the showing off a little juice with the legs. You know, and I had said earlier that it was more like Burwald on those kinds of plays. And look at Trey Kukuk go absolutely down the sideline with speed and aggression. Thirty Surprise, yards. Surprise no flag there. It looked like a bit of a late Laid hit. Late hit at the at the pylon. A fruit day on for the extra point. Oh, and his first miss of the season. I didn't announce your curse him on that one because I didn't want to, but that's the first time in 42 attempts this season that Kyan has missed an extra point. A fruit day hits the upright, 49 to 30 now with 7:38 to play, 19 point deficit. Yeah, you were supposed to go reverse psychology type <laughs> jinx there. I don't, I don't know. My apologies to Afrukte, who is the fourth leading scorer in the SCFA. Came into the game with, I believe it was 76 points. Yes, he was fourth in scoring. Freshman out of Dana Hills High School, been very solid. Was the SCFA uh, Special Teams Player of the Week earlier in the season after a big win by the Bobcats at Southwestern. So now he will kick off, and uh, I think we're going to see that onside kick here, Mike. You know, you're down 19 with 7.38 to play. It's four, oh, why not? 4 10 49 Saddleback 30, 7.38 to play, fourth quarter. Bobcats need the ball, and they need it frequently. So Fullerton has got the hands team, and they are in onside kick prevention formation. We'll see what the Bobcats choose to do. And if Rookdale send it deep. And it'll go into the end zone for a touchback. So Bobcats will rely on their defense to get a takeaway or a quick stop, try and get the ball back. They do have all three timeouts left. They trail by 19. And, uh, you know, Coach Campbell with the Fullerton has maybe got, well, who's he going to put back out there now? You know, is he going to go back with starters? Is he going to go... No way uh, Nunez comes out I here. see Nunez in the huddle, Mike. I do. Oh, and big number 11. You know, interesting story. Well, he's a gamer. Yeah, well, and I'll tell you why. That's the perfect setup for this. He missed the last few games of his senior year in high school at uh, Mountain View in Mesa, Arizona, back in 2018 because he had blood clots oh. in his left arm. And they said it swelled to, like, twice the size of normal. Wow. And he ended up in the hospital and all sorts of treatments and whatnot. So he didn't even play the last few games his senior year in high school. Was out of football for a little while with COVID and everything. And now he's come back and uh, split time last year. Uh, what was Josh Calvin, I believe, was the uh, quarterback that he split time with last year on a very good Fullerton team last year and played extensively on a rotating quarterback's basis and now is the primary guy and shows no ill effects from the blood clots. Yep. And he's a big, strong guy, 6'5", 225. I, I would think he could play at a four-year oh, yeah, school. Oh, yeah, you, you yeah. have to imagine he's on the radar for some colleges coming up 
uh, in his career at the four-year level. Uh, this is a kid that's big. He, he's mobile, and he can deliver the ball if need be in a, in a tight window. Yeah. Vaca Puna. There's a lot to like if you're an offensive coordinator at the four-year level, that's for sure. So it's third and about three. Saddleback, any hope at all, requires a stop right here. It really reminds me a little, you know, we cover Ventura College, one of our clients, for a lot of years now. Jake Luton, who's now in the NFL, has had a couple starts. Uh, very reminiscent in terms of his body type. Big hit right uh, there. Arena. Vaca Puna gets drilled by Travis Arena. Huge hit by the Bobcats. The linebacker out of Northwood High School just came in and crushed Vacapuna. And it is fourth and punt time for the Hornets. The only the second punt of the game. Look at that hit. Wrapped up. That is a form tackle right there. That is that's impressive. One, yeah, that's one you show to the kids to say this is how you do it. Head up, wrapped up, drive him to the ground. Good, solid football play by Travis Arena. All he needed was a rope. Could have tied him around the legs. Looked like he was rounding cattle. <laughs> That's his uh, six and a half now tackles for loss for Travis. Yeah. Short kick there, bouncing around a little bit. Hornets will let it bounce to the 32-yard line where Saddleback will take over in its own territory with 524 to play, trying to get a miracle finish. Trailing 49 to 30, Mark Spin, Mike Zapeta, here at Saddleback College, uh, trying to round out the home season for the Bobcats. And we always have to thank the incredible technical team and the staff of the athletic department at Saddleback College. Andrew, Steve, and Lorenzo soon our director tonight, uh, just has done a terrific job. And throughout the season, the, uh, Matthew and uh, Scott Tyndall as well. They're in Arizona. They're covering, uh, I believe, a soccer tournament for the WAC. They were unavailable. First down for the Bobcats. Q Cook looks down the far left oh, sideline. DeMarcos Creel Edgar, is there a flag uh, okay. coming in? So there's going to be no flag. The re the oh. referee on the near side took his hat off, threw it off, because I believe the receiver went out of bounds. Marcus stepped out of bounds on his own accord. So he wasn't the first yep. man to touch it coming back in, so there's going to be no penalty. But right. You go over nice here. Pick up. And, and nice pickup. Nice pickup. The, uh, nice. the hat is off. So no flag on the play for pass interference, second and ten. Yeah, the uh, SoCal College Sports crew has just done an amazing job all season. Thank you, sir. Really it's, appreciate it's, that. it's, you know, a joy to work with the camera angles and the replays, helping us help you stay informed on this game. Nice little slant pass over to Marcus Creo. Edgar, leading receiver for the Bobcats, gets a nice gain this out is, to the 45-yard line. This is important for Cook to get these reps. You know, he's uh, right now he's in line to be the starter next year for this Bobcat team. Yes, Absolutely. And Trey steps and fires. Nice pick out of the air right there. Saddleback trying to make something happen right down yeah, the side. I thought Smith. they had an interception, yep. and that was Kukuk throwing his receiver open and anticipating. That's a really good job of anticipation by Kukuk. That's Josiah Smith, who's had a couple of catches here in the second half, number 18 for the Bobcats. Q Cook throws a nice Another pass right there. Throw. That's Dane Benedicts. Are they going to say he caught it, or are they going to say? I don't know. Let's see if if we have it on replay. I mean, they, they're not going to review quickly. it up here. That's right. They're not going to review it here. So it's a catch. Capo Valley Cougar to Capo Valley Cougar right there. Q Cook to Dane Benedicts. And that looked like a catch. I'll give it a catch. First down, Bobcats at the 26 as we're under four and a half to go in the fourth quarter. Saddleback trails by 19 points, so they need four scores. Or excuse me, three scores. I can do math. Trailing by 19, yeah. yeah no, uh, no no, 15-point plays. That's right. Then two two, two-point conversions and a field goal yeah. would do it. Not much of a gain there. About five. Well, they gave him five further than it looked at first glance. Bob gets good pace right now. Q Cook stops, throws over the middle, Terrific finds his decision. receiver. That's good a great job. decision by Q Cook. He had some room to run, but instead had a receiver going against the grain, dumps it off. He gets the first and goal now. Josiah Smith, the sophomore at a Northwood High School. Getting some good reps here, in the, and there's the sack. There's the sack that Fullerton's been trying to get for a while now. 
And that was a play where nobody, that was a coverage sack right there, Mike. There was nothing nobody was open. open. Yeah. They certainly just came up the gut. They gobble up Kukuk. Well, now that I've confused you with my math, yes, Saddleback trails by three scores. They need one right here with 313 to go. It's second and about 20. Passes knocked down at the yep. line of scrimmage, that and that's going to bring up third and a mile for the Bobcats who need to make something happen Jeremy on this possession. Jeremy Naborn, number 28, getting his hands up, I believe, to knock that down. See, dropping into coverage. Now he jumps up. There he is right Whoa. there. Jeremy does a nice job. Almost came down with the leaping interception. Well, sometimes that's why they play defense. He's a freshman out of Corona Centennial. And a good one. All right, so the Bobcats looking to try and get some points here. They could get the field goal if they don't convert here. Well, they're not going to be in field goal range right it's, now. It would be about 48 yards if they do. Q Cook takes the sack, but the math would work in terms of one of the three scores because three points would cut it to 16. And, well, then I, and I think the math is in your favor to try and get this kick up. I think Afrukte has shown an ability to He's to got kick. the range. Yeah. It's right about on the edge of it. I watched him warm up, and he can hit from 48 yards. But it's, it's kind of like a, yeah. All right. Now yeah, they'll lob it up into the end zone. A lot of receivers bouncing around <laughs> just goes through the hands of Josh Collins, who Heartbreak. almost caught the – yeah, the miracle catch right there. Fourth and goal from the 27, yeah, and how about that? A prayer nearly answered. Almost answered. Let's take a look at that replay because Josh, I think it just came off on a hard deflection where it just it surprised him. You see Kuka gets good, you know, puts it into the end zone, which he has to do in this situation. Yep. Three Bobcats there. Just knock it down, and Carrillo nobody Edgar, knocked it Benedicts down. And oh, oh right just there. through the hands. And Creo Edgar was like, oh, Josh, I could have caught that. But either way, you just got to try and pull it down right yeah. there. So now we're at uh, first and 10 for Fullerton at their own 27-yard line, two and a half to play. Yeah, a bit of a formality at this point, the remaining minutes of the game, and two and a half. To Nunez be is back in, and Garnett uh, Davis the third at running back. Kind of a pistol formation. They hand it off to Davis. He's immediately wrapped up. I think he may have lost a yard. It'll be second and 11. Saddleback Scott, excuse me, three timeouts. I don't know if they'll bother to use them at this point. Nailbiter in Cerritos. Golden West prevails 21-14. It was no points on the board for the Falcons entering the fourth quarter. They put up two scores, but... They fall a touchdown short, and that sets us up for a big matchup next week. Mount Sac, who I believe yep. rolled today yep. earlier in a win versus Long Beach at 63-14. They're still going in the beginning of the fourth. That is, you know, uh, is Golden West looking ahead? Did they, you know, get squeak one out? Because they were thinking about Mount Sac. You yeah. know, you never know in those situations. But Cerritos, a good, solid team. And I'm surprised to see Brandon Nunez keep that, but keep it he does. You know, and when you when you get down to it, say we go next week, and say Fullerton loses, and Mount Sac loses, who's in? I, I mean that who, that's who, who's your wife? It's got to be Mount Sac, right? Because I mean, how many points do you get for a forfeit? I, that forfeit could yeah, loom very large. Could lo loom large for, exactly for the Hornets. Nunez now with 118 yards on the ground. Hands it off to Davis, the third, who goes straight up the middle for a few yards. It's going to bring up. Hey, Coach Crab going to elect not to call any time. Or did they they've call time? It's fourth down now for the Hornets. It'll be fourth in about a yard from their own 36. Minute 31 to play, 49 to 30, 19-point lead. You know, do you, do you uh, tush push this one for the first down and grind out the clock. We no, know we got no, a yard no, to go. no, no. Or do you just Last punt it away? Yeah. Is that, uh, well, there have been so many strange decisions that I would say in terms of who's still in the ball game and whatnot. Um, I think you got to kick it away. And we'll see if uh, Momana comes on, the left footer. for his third punt of the game all here in the second half. As we are at 131 to play, Saddleback now with two timeouts left. Mark Spin and Mike Cepeda. It's been an interesting game, Mike. I mean, just a, a lot of points and some big plays and some head scratchers and so forth. And 
Saddleback kept fighting, and they could have easily gotten blown right out of the gym, per se, in yeah. this case. And then they kept hanging in there, and Q Cook has done a good job coming on in relief of Burwald. I think you have to be encouraged uh, yeah. from what you've seen tonight from Q Cook. Yep. Uh, in, in certain flashes at times, and we've seen flashes this season, see some low lights as well, and obviously you want to be trending in the right direction. It certainly seems after this performance tonight that they're doing just that. Ooh. Chase Christner back to take the fair catch right there at the 23-yard line, and Chase reels that one in, so the Bobcats will get another shot to try and get some points on the board as we get it oh, to a extra minute. Extracurricular. Oh, now we're... You know, long rivalry. Got a flag. Yep. And everybody's kind of. Oh, we just want to get everybody back into the barn. Here. Yeah, I think, you know, now it's unsportsmanlike. He's called against Fullerton. So 15 yards added for the Bobcats, and that will give them excellent field position with a minute 24 to go. Looking for some quick scores. They trail by 19. Well, only three points in this fourth quarter for the Hornets. Remember, in that third quarter, the Hornets absolutely went insane yeah. after the Bobcats had cut it to 7, 24-17. Yeah. Yeah. Hornets reel off 22 straight to get the 14-17 to Bobcats in a valiant effort. have got it to 30. And the real dagger was that 65-yard oh. punt return by Katari, Katari Kearns. Yeah, that was – Katari just made a – That was a couple of coffin nails if I've ever seen one. A phenomenal move and kept his footing as he cut back towards midfield and outran the Saddleback coverage team. 65 yards, Katari Kearns. A little well, drop out there on the perimeter. We'd be remiss uh, if we didn't pass along some more thank yous here from SoCal College Sports. Dan Kloss, Dean of Athletics here at Saddleback, along with uh, Director of Operations, uh, Brett Franchino. Matt Brode, uh in facilities here at the stadium, uh, does a terrific job uh, year in and year out. Matt is, uh, they, they call him Obi-Wan here on the Saddleback campus, and that's picked off. That's an amazing pick right there. Oh. Q Cook, I mean, just out of nowhere, Jeremy Naborn, Makes a maybe play. a little bit of a baiting right there, but yep. uh, came over. A couple over times tonight we've seen that. Read the underneath route beautifully and made a you know strong move to his left and pulled that out. Good hands by Naborn, and that will do it, ladies and gents. That will give Fullerton the ball at the Saddleback 40-yard line with a minute 14. It's time to take a couple of knees. Look at that interception right there. Yeah, victory formation about the that about was to commence. Jeremy Naborn. Freshman out of Corona Centennial, we mentioned earlier. He had that knockdown. We said, gee, maybe that's why he plays defense. Well, that catch right there says the kid's got a pair of hands as well. So nice job by Naborn. Kuka, you know, just trying to get the ball out quickly. And they, they anticipated. Well, you see, you see him pump there on the replay, and the pump is really what cost them. Nunez will hand it off to Vacapuna straight up the middle. He'll get about three before he's turned back by a host of Bobcats. As we approach a minute to play, well, Mike, I can tell you it's been a, a privilege and, and a real good time, these games we've done here at Saddleback Stadium this year on SoCal College Sports. So. Now, we may be back for playoff soccer. Still yet to get the word from Brett Well, Franchino. great. I've been calling uh, soccer for Saddleback, and I was going to say Matt Brode is my chief engineer on the live streams. Yeah, at we the may Saddleback. be up ramping up the production. Uh, well, that would be wonderful. For the defending state champion. That's right. Uh, the women, Bobcats. and uh, currently ranked number one in the state, national defending champions in the junior college level. Three Undefeated pole. this year, the lone blemish, uh, I believe that was a draw. That was a 2-2 tie with Cypress, the in first Cyprus. game of conference play, and they avenged that with a 1-0 victory a few weeks ago. Cypress, the team to dispatch the Bobcats two years ago uh, before they made it to Mount Sack. And, and fell at the hands of Hartnell in the championship game. we will wrap it up for our that coverage way. here on uh, SoCal College Sports. Our final score from Saddleback Stadium on Military Appreciation Night at Saddleback College, Fullerton 49, Saddleback 30. Fullerton remains undefeated, 9-0, 6-0 in Southern League play. The Bobcats drop to 5-4 and four overall and 4-2 and two in the league. Saddleback travels to Mount San Jacinto to close out the regular season. And as Mike and I have mentioned, huge game 
Riverside next Saturday, 12 noon, tentative kickoff. Fullerton and Riverside for all the marbles in the Southern League and all sorts of playoff seating implications. Yeah, and, and in the Central, it'll be Mount Sac, Golden West. We'll have coverage for you on SoCal College Sports starting at noon next week. And that is a massive game, and it'll be here on SoCal College Sports from Golden West. At 12 noon, Mike Cepeda will be on hand for that one. The hardest working man in community <laughs> college broadcasting. For Mike, I am Mark Spinn. Thank you for joining us here and all of our amazing crew on SoCal College Sports. The final score again, Fullerton 49, Saddleback 30. Thanks for joining us here. Have a great Saturday evening. Don't forget to set your clocks back because daylight saving time ends at 2 a.m. We're still doing that. Still doing that. Yeah, we're still doing that. We're, we're not in Arizona or Hawaii. Good night, everybody. Thanks for joining us.